So anyway, thank you guys so much uh, for joining us. So my name is Dom Zook. Uh, I run things here at Saving Throw. And tonight I will be playing Tiny Willow. Tiny Willow is a Yakshi and uh, is a warden, um, which is kind of like a ranger, but a little bit different. Um, uh, but should be a lot of fun, kind of a tree person. So yeah, you can you can get a lot of stuff. They have all of all of our classes and um, uh, races are. You can see pictures and stuff of them on the Kickstarter. So go ahead and, and check that out if you want to see what what we're actually kind of doing here. But uh, I am Tiny Willow. Is my turn? Uh, this hi, is your turn. I'm Jordan Caves Callerman. I will be playing uh, Maldu. I am a Dengu, which is kind of like a mole person, and I uh, I am a shrine keeper, so I'm I'm a, a spiritual healer and 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 caster, um, and uh, my vice, which I think yeah. is I, I have uh, all of us have a vice and a virtue, so my vice is lazy, and my virtue is loyal, oh, I, yeah. and as a Dengu, I have a lust for all things shiny, which I think is hilarious. That's an over an almost overriding lust for shiny things. Yeah, uh, I I will say my vice is I'm forgetful. Oh, that's did you why not I, mention that earlier? Yeah, because, because oh, okay. I forgot. Yeah, you see how we yeah. this, we get into it deep. Uh, Several uh -huh. layers. Uh, uh -huh. My my virtue is that I'm courageous. So I'll, maybe I forget to not to step back, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll go mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, my uh, race attribute is I'm bright hide. So, uh, so my eyes uh, allow me to see lots of different things. Are um, you bushy-tailed? No, because I'm yeah. kind of a tree. Okay. So there's, I can make a tail, but it's not going to be bushy. Well, maybe a oh, no bush. It could be a bush. It could be a bush. <laughs> it could be a literal bush. Uh, um, and th I have some other things that are cool, but I'm going to turn off my phone. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Megan. Hi, I'm Megan Caves, and I am playing Rikiki, and she is a skiddy, which is like a weasel which is fun, <laughs> but uh, uh, her vice is dishonest and her virtue is meticulous. And then- But is her vice dishonest though? I mean, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if we can trust her. Yeah, oh mm -hmm. boy. Uh, and then she's got some different race attributes. She's got slinking, so she can silently sl slink low to the ground on all fours as a type of movement. Uh, she also has deft hands, so excellent coordination and swift hands. And and she has a, a vice, which is busy mind. So Skiddy are endlessly curious. Upon encountering an unfamiliar object, structure, or creature, a Skiddy must attempt a will save, or W-I-L save, to resist the urge to grab touch or otherwise investigate the source of their interest. Which nice. Fun. So let's not find any strange shiny things, or you and I are going to be totally taken out of commission. I know, we're just going to be like, wait, no, I want to look at this. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, I am going to be playing uh, Zadwax, who is a, a Ventelli uh, animancer, which, uh, it, and I guess my, my vice is I'm a narcissist, and uh, my virtue is that I'm generous. So, you know, uh, and the cool thing about, I, I like about the animancer is it's a class that, it's a caster class that sort of operates with life and death, and it, I have to like keep a balance of that, like, if I'm if I use too many spells that invoke life, that's actually a detriment to me, and uh, it's the same with death. So I have to like strike a balance in my gameplay of like using life and death. Otherwise, you know, I you know I have obviously you know penalties on my character, and uh, also I can uh, grow cancerous lesions on my face if I'm too <laughs> good and use too much life, or you know various other things. So I thought that was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Typecast. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Always. Eric. Uh, Sherman, how about you tell us a little bit about, about you, and uh, um, yeah, why not? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so I'm Sherman. I'm the lead designer of Endless Realms, and uh, we are currently on Kickstarter. Um, we're at day two at the moment. Uh, things are looking good so far. If you enjoy what's kind of going on in front of you, maybe you can check us out. And uh, yeah, hopefully this is enjoyable for everyone. Cool. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to it. So right before we get started, uh, we do have a couple of re-rolls to give out because of our awesome uh, resubscriptions from Blind Seer and Fire Red Lily. Blind Seer gives a re-roll to Megan. Ooh, so thank you, Blind Seer. Oh, I have it's self-serve oh, tonight. Yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? 
And Thank you. Fire Red Lily gets a reroll to me. It's Yay. also Dom serve. You have to. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> cool. Thank Thanks, you guys. guys. Thanks so Thank much. You. <clears throat> um, all right. Then, uh, if everyone is ready, let's go into the endless realms. Sherman, take it away. All right. Uh, so you guys find yourselves in the um, the uh, moderately sized city of Mendesa. Uh, you guys have just finished an adventure uh, in the wilderness around here and uh, are kind of just um, settling down to uh, enjoy a bit of downtime. Uh, every, Mendesa, um, as you kind of walk around the city and kind of take things in, is very obviously a mining city. Um, most of the people kind of uh, wandering about uh, are all kind of decked out in, in gear and look like they're all either heading to work or heading from work. Um, looking around, the majority of the people within the city are Calamir or humans. There are a few other uh, Ventelli and Cillian and Skitty around, but for the most part, it's all kind of Calamir and human-centric. And who are the Calamir again? Uh, they were the descendants of basically kind of angels and demons. Oh. Mm. So they're okay. kind of like half-breeds of uh, two races called the Aether and Koros, who are eternally at war with each other in a sort of nether realm. Okay. And um, basically, um, the Calamir kind of popped up as a mistake and were promptly booted out of uh, the entire planet. Wow. Oh, wow. OK. Ouch. <laughs> they're like, no, harsh. please go. You leave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now they're here in Mendesa. Cool. Yeah. OK. See, um, for the most part, it seems like um, everyone, uh, as, as you kind of wander through the city, you do notice a few people here and there kind of seem a bit on edge. But for the most part, it just looks like a normal town. Everyone is kind of going about their business. Uh, a lot of people who seem to be heading away from um, the mines all look like they're kind of heading towards uh, one fairly large building uh, in town. Um, <clears throat> aside from that, you guys are kind of like free to explore and look around. You guys are all assumed to have about two sol on you to kind of uh, go out and buy supplies if you'd like or kind of just see the sights. Okay. Um, so I... I am wearing uh, protective eyewear of some kind. Uh, otherwise, I would be blinded by uh, normal light. So I'm going to say that I have uh, some some very thick goggles on. Mm. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what does this building that everyone is heading towards look like? Uh, it actually has a fairly massive sign on like the front of it uh, saying uh, Padfoot's Pub. Oh. We should go look at this place. I, I guess. Oh, we should. It's a, new, it's a new place. You love those, don't you? Let's go look at it. Well, there's a lot of new places. Yes, but we have to go to this one right now. Come on, come on, come on. I want to go over to this building. So, um, as you enter in, it's, it's quite rowdy inside. Uh, there's a lot of kind of uh, shouting and merriment as everyone's just kind of having a good time. Um, shortly after entering, a nether skitty actually kind of um, starts calling out to you. Welcome, welcome. I'm Tiki Padfoot, and you're at Padfoot's Pub. Enjoy my establishment. Buy many things. Uh, oh. I... Well, we don't have very much money to buy things. But we oh. just wanted to look around, right? Oh, oh. I don't know about that. Um, well, we might have money to buy things. Oh, well, I don't. We just need to look. <laughs> um, so, um, as you guys are kind of just uh, milling about, he actually kind of um, seems to grab something from behind the bar and comes rushing over. Food, food. You would like food? Yes, food. Uh, hungry, hungry, yeah, I mean, hungry. Mm? I, I like food. I, um, all right. I he actually um, reaches over and starts playing with your goggles a bit. Oh, oh, what what are you doing? Hmm, hmm. He kind of just uh, starts examining them and uh, fiddling around. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Oh, don't Ooh, pull I... those off. <laughs> <laughs> I I think my friend would rather you not uh, touch his his protective eyewear. Uh, yes. As he starts speaking, he kind of uh, starts uh, slinking a little forward to you. And who are you, good sir? Um. Vodwalks, it's obvious I'm Vodwalks, right? <laughs> he thinks it's obvious. Uh, of, of course, okay. of course. Would you like food? Hmm? I yes, could eat. Yes. 50, 50 loon. Okay. 
Uh, how much money do we have on us again? Oh, uh, two sol. So, um, uh, 100 is loon is equal to one sol. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna write that down for my, okay, 100 loon is equal to one sol. All right. Tiny Willow has, uh, meanwhile, excused themselves to the restroom. I'm looking at plants! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> looking at plants, currently. Uh, what kind of food is it? Oh, well, why, it's, it's the most delicious kind. Do you like grub? Do you like plants? What do you like? Meat? We have meat. We have grubs. We have uh, everything. I do like grubs. <laughs> Got anyone uh, else want to go split some grubs? Are you paying? Sure. I, I oh, hand you guys man. one sal, and I go, get here, have yourself some grubs. Oh, that's very yeah. generous of you. We could each get a plate of grubs. Yes, then two plates of grubs. Two grubs, please. Make that three. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're back from looking at plants. You know, plants are fascinating where, in places where there aren't very many plants. Um, yeah, you actually... Uh, as you kind of were wandering around town, it looked like there really wasn't a whole lot of plant life in the city. Uh, it was very kind of barren and uh, sort of like rocky streets. Um, not, not even very many uh, kind of grasses or shrubs in the area. It's very dead here. I don't like it very much. I would like to leave as soon as we can, but I'll have some grubs right now. Okay. We'll have grubs. So there are lots of neat things to look at here have before to we go. Probably get your own plate though, because he's buying and he's buying each of us some grubs. Oh, thanks! I'll, I'll take one too. All right. I'll flick <laughs> one last coin. And like, all right, and then oh, you're just so some, generous. Just some meat for me, if. Yeah. Um, he kind of brings up a place <laughs> indiscriminate for all of you and, uh, meat. <laughs> kind of quickly. <laughs> just meat. Yeah, yeah, he uh, brings uh, refreshments for everyone uh, along with your, your plates of grubs. I'm going to take a few from your plate. <laughs> Those, okay. <laughs> Just eat them. Are you eating all of your grubs? Uh, well, I hadn't started yet on the grubs, but... After I take a few and eat them very fast, I want to... Grab your plate, dump them off, and just look at your plate. So I'm just... Oh, Woo! okay. This is a nice yeah, plate. There are grubs everywhere. <laughs> Hold on. I just, I just let the, the grubs kind of cl climb onto my, my, my <laughs> arms and stuff, and I'm just like, oh. You're supposed to eat those, Tiny Willow. <clears throat> Ow. Oh, I don't <laughs> like it when he does it. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I imagine these, you're, how tall are you? Two foot 11. Two He's foot a full four inches so taller than me. The grubs are like, I don't know how big they're. <laughs> big grubs. What? <laughs> yeah, you know, just normal grub size. <laughs> just a regular old uh, giant yeah. grub. Yeah, um, oh, okay. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> if you don't eat it quick enough, it might eat you. So. <laughs> okay. Oh no, all right, well then I eat in a hurry. <laughs> That's why we keep him around. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Good. This is good grub. A pretty good grub. <laughs> so yeah, um, as you kind of get a just a general feel of the room, um, most of the people seem to be fairly happy, but you actually see a few here and there that uh, either seem kind of a little depressed or almost angry. And uh, one of the Calamir, who, who already seems kind of like tense, immediately kind of stands up from his table and comes walking over to yours, almost um, in a really aggressive manner. And he's like, you, who are you? I've I, never seen you here before. I instinctively protect my grubs. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I am uh, Vex, that's my name. That's who I am. <laughs> and what are you doing here? Eating. Do you? I don't like it. Oh, oh uh, we Are we were doing told the wrong that thing? this was what we were supposed to do here, was eat. You don't like it when people frequent your establishments and spread wealth? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Maybe they're not a capitalist society. Well, they accept coin for services. Sure. Is that, your, is that capitalism? <laughs> I don't know. Yes. <laughs> okay. Maybe. He's just a humble uh, tree person. Yeah. He ends up um, slamming his fist down on the table. He's like, oh. I don't like strangers. Oh. Well. You, should be, you would do well to leave. 
before oh. things get messy. Messy? What sort of um, messy? What before things kind of like uh, progress a little further, uh, Tiki actually comes over and starts uh, carrying him over. Come, come, come. Have a drink on me. Have a drink on me. As oh. he's um, kind of like drawing the guy away, he just kind of like gives you all a kind of a, a bit of a shrug and sort of um, seem, gestures to just like continue on, your, on what you're doing. Well, we I, should probably follow that guy and figure out what's going on, right? I don't know. Well, we should probably just finish eating and then leave. Well, maybe if you ate a little faster. Well, I'm trying, but I'm trying to savor them. Do you want me to hold on to them? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can eat faster. Can you? I've never seen you do that. Is everyone else done? Yes, I oh, was done uh, about mm, 10 minutes ago. I'll just see if I can find someone to get a, a bag and I'll just take them to go. A grub bag? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, pretty standard. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, I'll just start trying to flag down somebody that looks like they might be able to provide me with a grub bag. Uh, Tiki himself actually uh, comes running over. He's like, what, what, what do you need, what do you need? Oh, do you have a, just a bag for, to take these with me? Uh, no, but have you tried your mouth? Uh, yeah, but everyone's getting mad because I'm a him, slow eater. Put so them in your pockets. Maybe I can hold on to him. That's okay. I'll just put them in my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he looks at you a little strangely before uh, walking away to run off to another table to help another patron. That's what I would do, too. He seems to think there's something strange about this. It is strange. You should have eaten them already. How many grubs did you get? A lot. Okay. <laughs> I feel like everybody. A full plate. Yeah, it's a whole plate. But she ate some. I yeah, I know. Thankfully, because there's no way I would have been able to finish all of these. <laughs> I well, get the you, impression people don't like strangers here. If you would stop doing that one at a time, it would go a lot faster. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm trying to be exact. All right, well, I can, I can respect that. Yes, it seems like people don't like us here. <laughs> I'm getting that impression. This is right? fascinating. Well, let's, maybe let's make our way through here and then we can move on to the next city where hopefully there's maybe more, you know. Oh, but there are so many things to see here. I mean, do you see all the buildings and there are people and they're carrying things? Yes, there's quite a lot of buildings. We just we got here. Light shifting. Yeah, we yeah. just got here and some of these people seem sad. And oh. I don't want them to be. <laughs> Why, well, that's like 26 grubs. Yeah, what? Well, not, now you're doing halves. What are you doing? Don't do halves. Well, I'm not going to want to eat a full one every time, so well, I got to split them. Just break it into a plate. Oh, you're, wait, why don't you just let me do this? I could do it much more organized and much quicker. We're having a conversation. I'm just making use of the time. <laughs> no, well, we would be walking and talking if you would stop doing that. That's it. <laughs> Last two. <laughs> I mean, sadness is part of life. You can't have, you have happiness and you have sadness. It's... Right, but there's a lot of sadness here and maybe we should figure out why and you should see if there's enough happiness to balance out all the sadness. Okay, don't, don't throw my, my faith in me. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, that's what you're always talking about. He, he, uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe. All right, fine, fine. I think we should look at some things. I, I'm okay with looking yeah. at things. I'm... You're outvoted. Hmm? I wasn't... What were we voting on? Whether or not to leave immediately or to stay and figure out why everyone's feeling oh. so bummed. I think we should leave immediately. Yeah, but you're outvoted. Well, Did like... we already vote? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we voted for things. <sighs> okay. All right. So we're what? We want to take like a, a look around town and try and get a uh, read think, on the situation? I think we should follow that guy. Ethereal, Ethereal flux. flux. Thank you for the sub. Thank you. We'd follow you want to follow the angry guy? Yeah. Or we could talk to Padfoot. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah, let's, let's talk to people who are nice to us. Mm, okay. I'm not afraid of talking to other people, just to be clear. Oh, um, <laughs> of course not. All right, so who are we talking to? <laughs> you say that like I might. Never mind. I don't want to get into it. We can this. talk to the tavern owner. Say it like nothing. <laughs> okay. And what was the tavern owner's name again? Uh, Tiki Padfoot. Tiki Padfoot, okay. Yeah, let's talk to him. So, yeah. Uh, as soon as your hand even gets like close to being raised up, he comes uh, rushing over. Oh. Hello, hello, what do you need? What do you need? Uh, um. We were just wondering why everyone seems so down. 
oh, don't worry about, don't worry about that. Just have some, have fun, have fun, have some drinks. You want some drinks? You want some drinks? Maybe some more food? Food's good. Oh, uh, I guess we could. Okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we go down that path, why does it feel like you're trying to get us to stop asking you questions? What? No, 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 no. Questions are great. Ask all the questions you want. Uh, perhaps over some food. You want some food? Maybe some, uh, some more drinks? We bought food. Now we are curious why a man... Which means you're probably uh, thirsty right now, yes? Mm. I, I mean, could, I could use some I mean, water. I am a little wait, okay, bit thirsty. Wait, 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 this seems to be a tactic. What is it that we're missing here? Maybe we should look around your whole uh, uh, tavern here and see what we can discover. Well, yes, look around all you like, all you like. Uh, just, uh, you know, you know, uh, maybe buy some drinks uh, here and there. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe you'd like to buy a round for the bar, yeah? That sounds good. What do you think, Bodbox? Oh, I, should I don't you have buy a round of drinks for the bar? I don't have any money left. <laughs> I also don't have any money left, so we can't do that. What's money? Don't. <laughs> David don't. Flagle, thank you very much thank for you the David Flagle. Thank you, David Flagle. <laughs> um, I don't know if we could buy a round of drinks for the whole bar, but... Well, maybe just a couple of patrons. That guy looks nice. You want to buy a drink for him? Um, yeah, okay. I'll buy a drink for him. Ah, I don't ten have any money. Come on. Ten uh, loon? No, you got some of that. Okay. There's one. No. Nope. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's, There's two. This is going to take forever. Yes. There's three, four, three. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There it is. He's no, got all of One of those was a grip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he actually like pops it in his mouth as he uh, walks away and uh, grabs a drink for the, hey. the patron you uh, pointed at. You All got right. a drink for only nine loon. Oh, and one grub. And one grub. <laughs> but you got like Which, based on the fact grub. that there were 25 of them. And they cost they're, they're 100 about. loon. So <laughs> <laughs> you actually <laughs> lost out on that Yeah, deal. I think yeah. I... Wow. Yeah. But that guy seems happy. Hey, you're welcome. Uh, he, he looks around and uh, nods his head at uh, Vod. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> FD Every, thank you for the reset. Thank you. Thank you, FD Every. <laughs> um, all right, so I guess I made one guy feel better. So mission accomplished. Yeah. Well, I don't think that was enough. I think we should look around this tavern. No. If he's not going to give us any information, then we can uh, snoop behind the bar. Why don't we talk to that guy you just made happy? Oh, okay. Uh, I do that too. So I want to get. <laughs> Maldu's going to get down with his stool, which I imagine is a laborious process. Uh, <laughs> and then just kind of like waddle over to that guy and be like, hey, I bought you that drink. Uh, he, he looks around and uh, kind of. What? Uh, down here. Uh, oh, 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 oh. oh <laughs> it was uh, me. Uh, he hello. Hi. Uh, who are you? Uh, my name is Maldu, and oh. I bought you that drink. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, I mean... You're it was, welcome. It was nice. So, what's your name? Uh, why, I am... Uh, I'm Arn. How's it going? Arn, nice to meet you. I'm Maldu. Those are my friends. That's Fodwalks and Tiny Willow. And one more time... It's Rikiki. One more time... Rikiki. Rikiki. <laughs> Do you know my name? Wait, don't tell him it's freaky. It's Vex. Tell him Vex. I mean, Somebody. Vex. We're all friends, too. And now I bought you a drink, so you can be our friend. Uh, that sounds good, I guess? Yeah. So, tell us. Why is everyone so sad? Uh, it's just been uh, some, some strange attacks around town recently. Has people a little on edge, you know. Uh, a few at the mine, and a few actually at uh, some people's homes. What sort of attacks? Um, well, some people think it might be a, a murderer, uh, but the attacks at the mines are a little weird. Uh, just kind of random animal attacks, you know? Just uh, not something you really see every day. Yeah, what kind of animals would be attacking people in a mine? Uh, well, that's the thing. I mean, occasionally you get some, uh, some rush, rough issues here and there with um, breaking into a nest of acromites and such, but uh, we, we actually had a, a Malivore attack uh, last week, and you don't really see those outside of the jungles. Yeah, that's at least that's the word on the street. <laughs> it's true. 100% true. Oh, well, guys... It sounds like everyone's kind of bummed out because they keep getting attacked and killed. <laughs> that would do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would do it. 
Uh, has these have these lands had an abundance of like? Has there been a boom in in birth uh, lately? Uh, a boom in birth? Uh, around the uh, the what was it? Just like had in the past few months before all of these attacks, was there many many you know new life formed? I I don't think so. Uh, I generally don't keep track of uh, babies being born in uh, the city or anything. It's... I mean, it would be like if, it would be obvious, I think, uh, to if, if it were the case, you would probably know off the hand. So it would be upsetting. There, the way you're going to rebalance it is by making more children. No, I'm just saying if if there were lots of children born and then suddenly death, mm. you know. Oh, then... I see. The other way around. Yeah. Well. If anyone can defeat whatever is killing all of these people, it's, it's us. It's Bogwalks. Oh. <laughs> and the rest of us. Oh, yes, I'm quite helpful. Yeah, we could look into it. Who should we uh, talk to as far as being deputized or, or whatnot? Well, I, I don't know about uh, deputized, but you can always talk to uh, one of the council leaders here in town. Um, maybe oh. even uh, the, the, uh, the mine foreman. Um, oh. uh, if you can actually uh, get him to kind of hold still for a moment, Tiki usually knows a lot. Uh, he's he's usually, usually kind of more interested in selling things. stuff, though. So. Yeah, mm. he's not really answering any of our questions with anything other than offers for goods and services. Yeah, he's he's just kind of uh, kind of like that. You, you, you folks uh, seem pretty nice, though. If you have mm. any place to stay, you can always uh, stay off at my place. Oh, I've got a couple of spare beds. Oh. Oh, maybe. Yes. Yeah. We're that incredibly sounds, poor. That's not, uh, so. Yeah. I I don't. <laughs> Three grubs like crawl out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> um, th yes, that's very nice of you. Um, perhaps now we can go and talk to someone about this. Maybe the the mine foreman. Foreman and. Uh, we can figure out what's going on. Here, you got oh, that one. Yeah, um, he actually points to a, a Calamere heading out the door, uh, and it was the angry guy who kind of like stomped over and was banging around on your table. Oh. oh. Okay, we want to go talk to that guy, huh? Okay. I think this is a this is a job for Vodwax, who is <laughs> who's the one who talks to people. He's our leader. Yep. Because he's right. the tallest. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. By, <laughs> quite, <laughs> by quite a large margin. <laughs> yes. Double, like, more than double both of you guys. Like, double. Combined. He's, like, <laughs> almost triple my yeah. height. All right, I'll, I'll walk yes. up to this guy as he leaves. Like, sir, um, we sort of, uh, I guess uh, we left things uh, in a weird place last time we spoke. They'll be in a great place as soon as you're gone. Well, you know, maybe you can help with that. Uh, we hear that there's trouble. Trouble? Trouble? And who do you think br is bringing that trouble to the town? Strangers like you. Oh, oh we man. heard it was murderers. Yeah. And, oh, and that, we're not and, murderers. You know, beasts and from the jungles attacking people in the mines. Yeah, jungle mines. Asking a lot of questions for strangers. We are adventurers, so it is our job to ask questions. And we like questions. Uh, he almost like sneers at you. I'm not talking to any of you. If you want information, go to the council. Which way is the council? He um, said he's not going to tell us. <laughs> he might tell us that. <laughs> uh, he actually tries to uh, just turn around and leave. Well, hey, if you don't tell us where the council is, we're going to have to keep following you and asking you questions. Oh, yes, Reminds I'm... me of a joke. What oh, joke? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What joke? Why don't you make, like, a tree and leaf? No. <laughs> no. It's a tree joke. <laughs> yes, uh, we should follow this guy. Come on, everyone. I only know tree jokes. Oh. That's the only one I've ever heard you tell. It's the only one I remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're following the, the mind foreman? Mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah. Um, as he uh, leaves and you guys follow after him, um, he, he just kind of seems to be stomping off uh, in the direction of what look like the mines. <clears throat> um, along the way, you actually do see another building. It's pretty much like the only other one that's 
larger in the city than um, Padfoot's pub. <gasps> Look at that building. Let's go over there. I'll scurry over to the building. Wait, we were following the gut. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, um, you scurry over, and it looks like it's a very, very fancy place. Uh, there are a few people kind of like entering and uh, exiting at a steady pace, though. I like this place. What kind of place is it? It looks. I feel like we might be underdressed. Well, we can um, one of the one of the people place. actually um, exiting uh, is like, "Oh, this is this is a council hall. Uh, are you new here?" Yes. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, so this is where the, the council meets to kind of uh, hear any issues uh, from, from the townsfolk and, and deal with any matters they can. We have an issue that we would like to bring up with the wait, council. Wait, wait. It's not an issue we're bringing up. We're asking about it. Mm. Yes. Can, should issue. we just walk inside? and? It's an issue we know of. Someone will deputize us? or What is it? Do we, oh, you just want the badge, don't you? Okay, yes, let's get deputized. <laughs> yeah, um, you enter inside. It's, uh, it's, it's very kind of ornate, and um, it, it looks like basically this, this, this building is very, very kind of pricey. Uh, w at, within the, the, the kind of entrance hall, there is a, a receptionist kind of um, ordering people around, kind of gathering people and sending people on through to a fairly large room beyond. Hello, folks. Uh, what can I do for you? Um, I am completely distracted by the finery on the on the walls mm -hmm. and and the decor. Uh, we are adventurers, and we are here to be. Uh, I'm not sure if you do deputize, but if you do, <laughs> one of us would love to be deputized. Oh, all four, all four. Um, oh, well, uh, I I don't know about uh, deputizing, but um, if are are you the adventurers that Garrick called for? Sure. Yes. Yep. We are. Oh, Garrett, Garrett. oh um, right, this way, right this way. Right this way. The guy actually kind of like gets up uh, from his receptionist chair and kind of pushes a few people out of the way. Sorry, coming through, coming through. Um, they bring you to a kind of large, uh, almost, look like, almost looks a bit like a courtroom with uh, three people kind of sitting on um, a fairly, uh, sort of a raised dais and kind of listening to people and taking notes. <clears throat> Uh, two of them are Calamir, while the other is a human. And basically, um, the receptionist kind of like uh, rushes forward. He's like, Garrick, Garrick, uh, yeah, the adventurers are here. They're here. Uh, you said you wanted to see them right away. <clears throat> and uh, kind of like presents the four of you. Hi. I bow <laughs> deeply. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're the adventurers. They mm -hmm. oh. ordered. Mm -hmm. I, I, I heard you were supposed to be four strapping Elvark here. We used to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how stories work. We get grander as people tell them. As no, well I, I suppose that, that definitely makes, makes sense. Kind of a nod as I said. So yes, you, you, you came to, to help us with our situation, right? Oh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, so you, you know everything uh, in the letter, of course, right? Yes? Uh, yes. n no, the letter you, got you, wet. You know, if you could, if you could just hit the salient points of the letter, it would. I mean, uh, just to make sure, because I don't know if the rest of the council members know. And, also, he's forgetful, and he read it, and then and then it got wet, and then it got wet, and dropped it in a stream. That might have happened. <laughs> As you it guys are kind of like talking, his face almost seems to like fall with resignation as <laughs> it almost looks like he's getting like more and more disappointed in who he's apparently hired. <laughs> I see. Well, if you had kept the letter properly, you would have been informed that we have been having some strange animal attacks in these parts. Oh, yes. We need you to find the source of it and deal with the problem. All right. We can't have the mine being delayed. And the animal attacks have been happening just in the mine? No, also at homes. And, and in people's the letter. homes? Hmm. Well, uh, the, we don't entirely know if the attacks are related, but there have been attacks on people's homes. Uh, however, they have generally been with weapons. Oh. Animals the animal attacks... Weapons? have uh, been kind of strange and sporadic and have been going on for about about six weeks now. 
Well, I mean, in addition to our base rate, we'll happily take uh, care of these, of all the attacks for... And again, there hasn't been any, like, boom in life uh, here <laughs> or uh, an abundance of uh, new people moving in. You always ask this um, question, don't worry about it. We always have a few more people coming in uh, looking for work, but but nothing uh, major, no. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> he just has to check. Um, I, I see. Well, where was the most recent attack? Maybe we should start by looking there. Well, as far as uh, attacks on people went, the most recent would have just been a couple days back. Uh, he actually um, kind of gives you directions to, to a place and and mentions that um, basically a, a human was attacked in their own home. Uh, they were very seriously injured. Uh, they were on fairly, um, they were in a very critical condition until the healers could kind of get on the scene and kind of patch them up. Hmm. Oh, but uh, they're doing better? They, they are, they are. Um, but they, they haven't really said they, they, they saw anyone when uh, the attacks happened. They just woke up and were, were being viciously wounded. Hmm. Well... Maybe if we could be deputized, we could take a look around for some clues. Specifically, if you have any uh, shiny badges or something we could wear. Yeah. Uh, he kind of uh, grabs a scrap of paper and uh, kind of writes a note mm -hmm. and uh, gives it to uh, the, the receptionist who kind of brings it forward. And it's like, that, that should allow you uh, entry into most places in the city and access to, to any information you may need. It, oh. it looks as you kind of like look over it. Um, it it the the notepad does look like it has kind of like a very shiny finery around the edges. Ooh, oh, like yes, it's kind of like a, a really nice. fancy paper. I'll hold but, uh, it. The note basically kind of um has his seal on it and kind of like explains <laughs> <laughs> it explains that you guys are um hired by the city to to do this work and people aren't supposed to impede your your investigation. Okay. okay. Well, that's awfully nice of him to write. We should take Lots this to the mine to foreman. Hmm? We should oh. take it to the mine foreman and rub it in his face. Well, first we should investigate, yeah. and I should probably hold that. No, I have it. It's mine. I'll put it right here. I mean, and I, like, I, don't, I don't like to get in the middle of you two, but your pockets are full of grubs at the moment. You want to trade? No. Here's no, one. No. Okay, no, you, no. Hold on. I'm, no. I'm going to leave. Those are yours. Do we need anything else? <laughs> Um, I, I don't believe so. Um, you, you actually kind of see the other two uh, council members seem to kind of like largely defer to Garrick as he kind of gives out information. All right, well, we'll get started right away. And here, um, probably being a council member's hungry work, so. Uh, uh, as you kind of put grubs on the table, he just kind of looks disgustingly at it as he kind of brushes it away. Oh, oh, you dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> Just put that back up there. Okay, we're going to go get started now. Thank you very much, and you won't be disappointed. As you're walking away, he actually shakes his head as he just, like, puts his, his head in his hands. This seemed really nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. this, they gave a shiny this, thing, so... This could be, this could be the, what we need, you know? Yeah. A win, for once. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to put it that way, but yeah, you're, you're right. We always win. <clears throat> in a, in a, after a I fashion, mean, huh? I yeah. win. You guys are also of, there. Yeah, are there. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm very helpful. Well, maybe we should go yes, talk. Yes, you are. See, he says I'm very helpful. Oh. Oh, but then he winked at me. <laughs> no, he didn't. As if to bring me into a secret conspiratorial... Oh, he, Will you wink at me, too? Great. His cool. eyes just twitch. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in it now. Okay. Uh, shall we? Let's go talk to that person who got attacked. Yeah. Okay. Before we do that, uh, Ethereal Flux gives a reroll to Jordan. Oh, thank you. Fancy. Thank you very much. Uh, David Flagel, thank you. Gives a reroll to Mage Hand. Woohoo! Thank you, and David Flagel. FD Every gives a reroll to Jordan. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Right. Thank you guys for subbing on in. Yeah. And resubbing. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we want to follow the council person's directions and head to um, head to the site of the last attack. Yes. Mm. So yeah. uh, you head on over to uh, the, the, the 
the the building. Um, it's it's not quite as uh, nice um, as the one you just left. It looks much like uh, a lot of the ones in the area. And um, there actually is a guard kind of posted outside. <clears throat> you oh. there? What are you doing here? Oh, um, show him the, the shot. Note, here. No, just the hand note. it to me, and I'll show him. What? Just hand me the note. No, I'm gonna give it to you. We are investigating the animal attacks, uh, and uh, or and uh, various other attacks in the city. We've uh, been deputized. Yes, by the council. <laughs> uh, we would like to see the man uh, who was most recently attacked in the night. He kind of uh, eyes Maldu a bit when he was mentioning uh, being deputized, but he's. Looking at the uh, the the letter, um, he kind of nods his head. He's like, "Well, yes, uh, come You're inside." You're the shortest. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we can go in? Yes, yes, yes. Try not to stay too long. He's he's not feeling too well. Um, what's right. it, what's his name? Uh, it's Anders. Anders. Okay. All right, guys. Anders isn't feeling super. Um, if I'm actually a, a healer, maybe I could make him feel a little bit better. Oh, that that sounds great. I'll ask him. Um, as as we go in, are there any like flowers or plants or bushes or anything like that around here? Um, no, no flowers or bushes, but um. <clears throat> You you did see a few fl um, flowers kind of in pots by the council uh, council hall. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. This place could do with uh, you know a green thumb if you know what I mean. I could grow a few things here. I think it would brighten the place up quite a bit. Nothing matter. You do that. I might do that. We should ask Anders if that's something he's interested in. Mm -hmm. Let's go check on him. Okay. So yeah, as you uh, head inside, waddle, waddle. Um, he, uh, he, he directs you to uh, basically <clears throat> the, the room that Anders is kind of resting in. And as you enter, um, you, you see, even though it looks like he's kind of been patched up quite a bit, he, he does look like he's in not like horrible condition. Uh, hi, Anders. Uh, my name is Maldu. I'm a deputy with the council, and um, I'm also a healer, and I heard you weren't feeling super well, so they sent us over to check on you and ask you some questions, and I can maybe try and make you feel better. Uh, he kind of nods his head a little uh, warily. He's like, that, that, that does sound nice. Okay. All right, stand back, everybody. I'm gonna go all the way to the other corner of the room. <laughs> okay, um, so I wanna try and cast uh, my heal spell uh, okay. on him. So um, that says, so it costs me two, two MP, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then it restores uh, hit points equal to my spirit plus my level, uh, so uh, eight hit points. Yeah, um, as you do so, uh, basically, pretty much like the rest of his wounds kind of close up, and he, he almost seems like to have like a, a look of relief on his face as you uh, finish up. There, and also, have a grub. Uh, he, he looks at you strangely as you offer the grub, but he, he seems to kind of like take it um, and, and kind of thanks you as uh, he's looking a lot better than he was a moment ago. Hooray! Good, okay. good work, Maldu. It works this time. It works every time. <laughs> Does it? Well, now that he's feeling better, maybe we can ask him some questions. Vlogbox? Yeah. <laughs> um, real quick, uh, Anders, you may be wondering who we are. Oh, right. We should introduce ourselves, all of us. Uh, y yes. Um, we're mainly, deputies. We're deputies, mainly because there's there's a group of people who may wonder who we are. Mm -hmm. And we just thought you would be a good person to talk to about this. Uh, my name is Tiny Willow, and I am a Yakshi warden. It's nice to make your acquaintance. And oh, again. not too many of uh, your, your folk around here. No, <laughs> no, I, 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 and definitely things should be done about that, uh, if, if you ask me. I think, I think maybe some flowers or perhaps a nice shrub uh, could be put on uh, outside and it would really brighten the place up. But 
Uh, that's a grub. <laughs> oh, the yeah, snowy. It's a grub. Okay. <laughs> so it's a different I, thing. Yeah, I. I, I, yeah, I, I guess some greenery would be would be nice for a change. Uh, strange. I mean, uh, all your folk had kind of left a few decades ago, didn't they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I, I mean, I uh, leave, stayed. I mean, really, what's you know, what's what's to say he said about leave. you all made like a tree. That's that's <laughs> left. That's not how those that's not those. the joke is we made like trees and we leaved. That's not that's not. You know what? Hi, I'm uh, I'm R Rikiki. I'll tell you my real name. It seems important here. And I'm a skiddy, as you can tell, and I'm a ninja. Oh, y yes, yes. A, a, a what? Ninja. Uh, oh. Oh. Um I uh, he actually uh, seems a little fearful as you mentioned that. Oh, but I'm a good uh, ninja. Facts, facts <laughs> uh, I, I, I see. Um, what, what are, what are you, what are you doing in these parts? How, how long have, how long have you been here? Uh, we've been here for two weeks. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was uh, two weeks. We just he, got he actually here. seems um, to get really, really on edge as you mentioned how long you, <laughs> you've been around, and he seems to almost be like kind of crawling away from you um, on the bed. Where? Where are you going? She doesn't mean she's been in your house for two weeks. <laughs> oh, yes, I've not been in your house. This is the first time in your house. I, I very much like it. Oh, Rikiki, oh. why don't you join me over I, here? Oh, is there something interesting to look at? <laughs> mm-hmm. And, and you may not have noticed him, but this is our friend Vodblox, a well, six foot I, ten I shadow do, creature. Yeah, I'm, I, I have camouflage, so if I'm holding still, you can't quite see me sometimes. Maybe shake an, shake a, an arm or something yeah, every so once I in a while. so I kind of like move a little bit so I, you can focus on me. Yeah, there he is. Uh, Vodblox, I'm a Ventilli Animancer, and uh, we have some questions for you. Oh, oh, and I'm Maldu. I'm a I'm a Dengu, and and I keep shrines. I'm a shrine keeper. No, not I, on I, you. But. Thank thank you uh, again for your help. Yeah, just grab. Of course. So can I can we ask you about the night of your attack? Uh, yes, uh, as you say. So he actually keeps um, looking towards uh, Rikiki. Don't mind our friend. Uh, she. He's a spirited liar, but... I would never lie. See? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we were very recently into, the, into town and uh, are investigating the various attacks in this city, including yours being the most recent. What do you remember of that night? I, I, I just, I woke up and I was in pain and, and there was, there were, there were so many knives, but I, I couldn't see anyone and and it was it was it was terrible. He, he actually kind of like seems to kind of close in on himself a little bit. It was it was terrible. I I, I didn't I didn't see anyone. Hmm. Like a stealthy knife wielding assailant of some kind. He he, he nods it? his head very rapidly and kind of moves away on the bed again. Are you sure it was knives and not maybe claws or teeth? No, I, I, I saw flashes of, of the knife, but, but that, was, that was it. So, so you saw a knife without its wielder? Yes, uh, it kept vanishing again and again, but there was, there was that, that horrid giggling. Uh, yes, uh, uh, I, 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 I don't know, I didn't see anything. Giggling? That's quite unusual. Yes, like, 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 like laughter. Like a child or an adult. It, 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 it sounded very low to the ground. I, I, I don't know though. Like, how, like how low to the ground? Like here or here or here or here. Uh, or he, he kind of like points to like around <laughs> like a Rikiki's kind of level. Oh, huh. Maybe it was a skiddy. Maybe. Maybe it was like a skiddy ninja or something. Maybe. But it wasn't me. <laughs> right. He, he just kind of nods his head slowly as he keeps his eyes on you. We're deputies, so... I see. You think that it could possibly be our friend here. Uh, that is impossible, right? Oh, yes. 
<laughs> had you recently come into like great fortune or um, no no I mean well I, I, I I've just been I, I, I don't have anything really beyond this house and my oh, job yeah. yeah and that's not fair and that's not fair no it is not it is did it is you not fair. start giving birth to a lot <laughs> of Population. I, I appreciate we do, I, we're, we're past that at this point. Oh, okay. but I appreciate. We, I, okay. He shakes his head. No, I, I don't even have a girlfriend. Oh, maybe that is our mission. No, it's no, not. no. Wait, do you oh. think that his girlfriend that he doesn't have yet tried to kill him? No. It's a good way to get to know someone. <laughs> to try to kill them. No, uh, it's very, it. very intimate. Think about it. Is there anything else that stands out that maybe you can remember that might help us find or anything like, else? Unusual? Where do you work? I, I work at the mine. Mm -hmm. um, does anyone in this town not work at the mine? Uh, there's, there's a few people who work at, uh, at Padfoot's Bar um, and a couple of the other bars in town. And, and there's uh, some... Some people who take care of uh, of things at the council, but I, I, I'm fairly certain most people here work at the mine. And the, mm. yeah, so the, off the top of your head, the other people who were attacked, the, I, I assume they also probably worked at the mine. Uh, he kind of um, scratches his head and uh, thinks for a moment. He's like, uh, "Yes. Do you, do you think that might mean something?" Well, there oh. are attacks in the mine and attacks of the people who work at the mine. But if everybody works for the mine, then maybe it's a false correlation. It's possible. What is it exactly that you all are mining there? Uh, mainly, mainly iron, but there's, uh, there's a few other things here and there. Uh, a lot of it gets uh, shipped off to, to Amonbon for, uh, for forging. Mm. I guess that's... It. I think so. so. I think we should go to the mine. I think so. It sounds like we should check out the mine. Can you tell us anything about the mine foreman? He seems unpleasant. He's a very rude man. Oh, oh, yes. You're talking about uh, Andrik. Um, yes, he's he's actually uh, the, the cousin of, of the, the councilman, uh, Garrick. Oh. oh. Yeah, um, he's he's uh, kind of a, a rough sort. He, he pushes people fairly hard, but he's he's generally generally fair. Oh, hmm. he didn't seem that way earlier, but maybe he's just having a bad day. It's possible. I should have bought him a drink. I don't think he would have taken it. Uh, well, he's he, he's definitely seemed um, quite on edge, uh, starting from about three weeks ago. He's uh, once the the attack started kind of intensifying, he just he just started exploding at people. Yeah, that mm. sounds like him. Maybe he's attacking people. No, and no, he's no, not Andrik. Andrik's a good man. Mm. Did he lose anyone in the attacks besides um, workers? Not, not that, not that I know of. Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't think so. And how has the mine been doing financially? Do you know? Has it been <laughs> an issue? This is not. <laughs> is it? Is it? Has it been? Has it been struggling as of late? Um, no, we, we actually uh, just opened up a, a new section of the mine just a um, couple months back. Things have actually been intensifying. We've, we've been getting um, even more, uh, more iron out of everything. It was, it was great. Is it the only mine in town? Um, well, it's, it's, it's fairly large, but uh, yeah, it's, it's mm. where uh, pretty much a lot of the iron in uh, this entire region is kind of gathered from. All right, well, I think it's pretty clear that we should go talk to the, to the people at the mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Well, you rest up, Anders, and if you need anything, just send for the town deputies. Uh, just ask the council, and they'll know where to find us, and we'll come help you out. Uh, th thank, thank you again. Thank you again, sir. I, he actually um, grabs one of your... Uh, your big kind of meaty fit miss um, fit hands and kind of like shakes it. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay, bye. But but bye. Uh, do, do come back. Okay. Uh, as you immediately say, so he kind of starts eyeing you up again and scurrying around on the bed a little bit. 
Bye. <laughs> but, but, but why? Why don't you go first, Ricky? <laughs> okay. Maybe there'll be interesting things to look at. Mm-hmm. All right. So we head to the mine? Yes, I, I think the mine is 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 good. I mean, it's it's a mine and it's dark and that sounds nice. I, I mean, we have creatures attacking people in the mine that don't belong to the mine. People being attacked outside of the mine by but but, and they say by weapons, but it may be a, a creature wielding them, something that we don't know what it is at the moment. But it might be unrelated. Might be some sort of iron creature. But I'll defer to your judgment, Vod Wax. You are our leader. What? He's, he's not our leader. He's the he's tallest. By that doesn't, far. That doesn't mean you should be a leader just because you're so tall. I don't know. That is his culture. He's got my vote. <laughs> I mean, he can see above. That's true. Most but then I can everything. scurry up on top of his head and I can see higher than anybody. No. If you try that, I'll slap you off with my tail. <laughs> well, that's very rude. Carol Jean Ooh. Selfridge, thank you very much for, you. for pledging on Patreon. Yeah, thank you. Um, awesome. All right, so let's let's head to the mine then, and then you keep an eye out for anything that we can't see because you're so much taller than us. All right. If you would just let me ride on his head, I could be very helpful. Mm hmm. Is uh, uh, what time of day is it? Uh, it's it's around um, sort of mid afternoon. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm I'm definitely going to keep my eyes peeled uh, for for anything out of the ordinary, and if I see any sort of plant life, I want I want to um, communicate with it. <laughs> yeah, um, so as you uh, leave and start heading out, uh, once again, like pretty much the entire city looks really barren oh. uh you actually do as you're kind of like walking along do see a small patch of um kind of withered grass is there is there like a, a drought watch in this city does anyone know just got here i mean i know as much as you do about this place <laughs> yes but yeah. i i sense it there's a lot more death here there's a very imbalance yeah in this town um, I want to I want to kind of kneel down and put my hand on the withered grass um, and use my consult nature race talent. Okay. Um, or yeah, um, actually, um, actually I want to use green soul um, and uh, to analyze this plant. Okay. Um, and Just kind of like see what's wrong with it. Yeah, I want to see is it is it dying of natural causes or is there maybe something that's that's like poisoning or something like that. Is it just old? Okay. Is it just old? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that would be a wilderness check. Um, so it should be in your uh, intellect talents. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. I got a seven uh, total. Whoa. In that. Uh, all right. Roll. Is it roll one d ten? Two d ten. Yep. One d ten. I think two d ten because you have uh, a an ability. Okay. Cool. So that's a uh, 12. Uh, yeah, so... Um, oh, wait, uh, 12 plus 7, uh, 19. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so um, you, you're very kind of carefully analyzing it, and you're absolutely sure that it isn't really natural causes. Mm. You're, you're pretty sure that um, whatever is causing like the plant to die, it's, it's more of like a poison kind of kind of um, coming up within it. Uh, hmm. You actually think it might be... Um, uh, would you... Do you have... Uh, let me take a... <laughs> uh, do you have medicine? Uh, I, do have, I do have rank three in medicine. Uh, can you give me a, a roll of that? Yes. Uh, so I got a nine on the die. So, uh, do I add my rank to that? Uh, yes. Yeah. So 12. So yeah. Um, as you're kind of like examining the plant, you're actually fairly sure it, sure it seems to be some sort of like, um, metal poisoning. Basically it, it seems like there might be a lot of certain kind of chemicals in the, in the ground that are kind of poisoning the plant. Oh, oh, 
Uh, interesting. It, it seems like the whole ground is contaminated with something that, 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 that's preventing things from growing here. Hmm. Could be um, from the mine. Since you rolled fairly high on both, I'd, mm -hmm. I'd say you kind of have a pretty firm suspicion that it's probably something related to, to the mine and just mm -hmm. like uh, the processing of metals. I see. Um, uh, I, now, I don't, I don't mean to come across as a worrywart, but I think something with the mine is maybe filtering into the ground here, uh, maybe the groundwater or something, and is, and is hurting the plant life here. And that's not good. Oh, do so plants? you think the plants are attacking yeah, do you think No, I think what he's saying is that in the, something in the mine, there's a <clears throat> sort of a, something in the mine that is affecting the plants, which is also probably, I, I, you know, we are dealing with creatures that shouldn't be here, attacking people. Uh, we're dealing with plants being killed off from the mines. I think that there is something afoot in this mine. There's definitely something wrong with the mine because... It could be unrelated. As we know, mines are very safe and what run very well. There wouldn't possibly be anything that could be leaking into the groundwater or anything like that. Right. So the the you, town council would put a stop to it. Right. Can you talk to dirt too? Dirt is dirt. Dirt is not <laughs> flora. Do we... We have to come, we usually have this conversation, Rikiki. I'm just saying it would be really helpful if you could talk to the dirt. It would be. what's in it the dirt. It would be. I, I, that's not something in my uh, capability. Maybe you so. should work on that. Well, you could learn dirt. Yes, no, why I don't you mean, learn dirt, Rikiki? That's not how I work. I work with shadows, like him. Oh, well then talk to the shadows. Dirt shadows. Do you know anything about talking to dirt? I don't. <laughs> They don't know. All right, well, none of us can talk to the dirt, so maybe we should just check out the mine. Okay. There's a lot of shadows there. Oh, good. I like that. I know, I'm looking forward to it, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel at home in places like that. Is that like your shrine? What? Shrine? Shrine-like? No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We've only been traveling together for a little while. <laughs> it's been like still three getting years. used to everyone. All right, so uh, yeah, let's keep heading. Let's let's find uh, the the foreman again. I wanna I wanna rub this note in his face. Yes, I like that plan. So yeah, um, you head off towards uh, the mine, and uh, you you find the foreman um, basically kind of like standing in the general area near the entrance, just kind of like watching people uh, move in and out and um, kind of. Basically, seems like he's just kind of like keeping an eye on things. Uh, hi. Look what we have. Look, here, I'll hold it and show him. I have it. <laughs> As you guys uh, kind of approach, he, he just gets like this big look of disgust on his face. And it actually seems to grow larger as you show the note. And oh. what do you want? To save your mind. Ooh. Fodwalks yeah. won. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, seems to kind of like get really, really tense. And how can you do that? By investigating. She can speak with shadows. Like him. Something, something is killing your workers, and it's also killing the land around here. And you believe that's related to your your mind? <clears throat> um. Can I get a judge character check from everyone? Yes. Ooh. Ooh, I can do that pretty well. I can also judge character, but not super Ooh. well right now. Right. I got a three. I got a wait, wait, wait. eight Where? total. Down there? I got a 12. Aha! Uh, four. Uh, someone <laughs> said 12? Yes. I, that, that was me, Tiny Willow. <laughs> yeah, Excellent, um, judge of character. Oh, down there. <laughs> You don't really, you notice something kind of a bit odd about his just overall demeanor when you mention um, the something kind of poisoning the land. But aside from that, you're not really entirely sure what it was. You just mm -hmm. get like a general sense that he seemed kind of a little more tense than he already kind of is when you mentioned the land being poisoned. 
Well, I cannot read this guy. <laughs> I know, I know that you know as as a foreman of a mine um, that you run with the strictest safety standards and uh, environmental protection policies are in place. Obviously. Um, and so there would be nothing that you could uh, possibly be doing with this mine that would be polluting the local ground. Um, and so uh, we're just here to make sure that there's nothing dangerous or anything untoward happen, happening uh, in this mine uh, or to the uh, local flora. Um, uh, I'm sure that will be fine with you, yes? And, and solving murders. He kind of just uh, eyes you all a bit and then turns around towards a building and starts walking away. Uh, after a couple of steps, he actually kind of raises his hand, uh, kind of gestures to, to follow after him. Oh, we oh. were going to do that anyway. So oh, yeah, okay. okay, great. Same old, same old. Well, this time he's motioning for us to follow. The last time he just walked away. Yep. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I think we're stepping up. I think this is a good step. Yeah. It's probably because we're deputies. Mmm. That was a smart move, Maldu. Thanks. <laughs> so um, he uh, brings um, basically to brings you all to basically an office on site. Um, it, it's a fairly small building. Uh, it just has like a desk for him and a few kind of shelves for him to file things on. Uh, he sits behind it and um, just kind of looks at all of you and asks, "What do you want to know?" Well, I mean, I think. I think we just want to make sure that there's nothing in this mine that is doing anything, you know, there's no like leaking or... Or, or, or iron monsters or killing Or iron people. monsters with knives for hands or anything like that. But if like there that. were, that would be really cool. But we'd need to take care of it. No, no, we haven't heard of any, any ferrivores around in, uh, in recent times. Ferrivores? Oh. It sounds like they eat iron, maybe. Eat well, well, iron? Well, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was telling him I knew. <laughs> but, no, that makes sense. Do you know, uh, have you heard any weird giggling in the mine? Um, as you kind of uh, say so, um, there, there might have been, uh, there's always some talk here and there of, of people mentioning strange sounds, but it's a mine, it happens. But like sure. specifically giggling? Why do you ask? Well, I just heard that there's been a rash of like giggly attacks. Does this look like a laughing matter to you? No, it looks very serious. But that's Some why miners I'm have mentioned Hearing a laughter here and there. Aha. Uh -huh. From within the Maybe mine? It's unrelated. <laughs> it could be unrelated, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, nods his head. Okay. So, um, great. Is there a, a centralized area where this is heard? Like a certain shaft or, you know? No, no, just uh, <laughs> generally off in various side passages, but no one finds anything. And the, the attacks that have occurred in the mine, uh, where, where were those? Uh, it's, it's mainly been out here, in, uh, basically near the entrance. <clears throat> oh, not inside the mine? Not, not yet, no. Hmm. Oh, maybe something is living in the mine and comes out to attack people. Why wouldn't it just attack people inside the mine? It'd be a lot easier. Well, you don't, um, what's the expression about, like, not something where you live? I don't remember right now. I don't think that's an expression. Oh, you don't murder where you live. That's right. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Hmm. Uh, are people still working the mine? I mean, besides yourself. Of course, of course. So, so no work, no work stoppage. No, no, we've just upped the guards around the mine, and everything's been been pretty good so far. Mm. Have any natural caverns been uncovered in the course of your mining? Um, no, no, nothing like that. Hmm. All right. Well, maybe we should take a look around. You clearly don't have a dengu on your staff, but we're pretty good at being <laughs> underground. 
Yeah, he's... nods his head. I, I suppose that does uh, does make some sense. You can you can uh, go ahead and take a look for yourselves if you'd like. We will. All right. Let's do it. No. Hey, thank you for your time, sir. He uh, nods his head as he kind of keeps <laughs> eyeing all of you. <laughs> all right. And if anything else comes up that's important, send word to the council to tell us, their deputies, that you heard it, and then we'll know. I tell the council everything. Everything. Oh, well, then that Good. should work really well. Yeah, that policy. Yep, yep, you're already set up for One it. One step ahead of the game, as it were. Okay. Let's go. No, 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 we we need to yeah. work on that. No, no. We need to work on that battle cry. We need to I work think. on not doing that. Okay. Oh. No, I don't want any of your grubs. What? They've been in your pocket <laughs> and now they're gross and dying. Is there more is there more dying are there any dying vegetation around the the, the mine entrance? <clears throat> uh there is no vegetation. No vegetation. Man. This what? place is just killing me. So, like literally, <laughs> I could die any moment, but so could any of you. So, no, thank you, <laughs> no grubs. All right, I, I don't want no grubs. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> um. So yeah, let's let's head into the mine. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Maldu's yeah. looking forward to taking his goggles off. Mm. Yeah, um, as you're uh, approaching, you actually hear a cry go out. Mm. And then uh, another, and you begin hearing screams as uh, numerous miners start kind of like flooding out of the mine. What, what's going on? What's happening? Uh, they're all just kind of like, uh, attack, attack! And what? they're all just immediately panicking and uh, running off. All right, guys, it sounds like people need our help, so... <laughs> Let's go. We have to make like a tree and leave. No, no, no we're just gonna go in there. No, all right, so just go in there. I'm gonna pull my uh, my tonfas and uh, and start waddling into the mine. Post haste. Yes, um, I I've got uh, my bow at the ready with an arrow notched. Not I've got my two rondel. I'm gonna look up a tonfa real quick so I know what it looks like. <laughs> right now, uh, like a police baton. Yeah, it's, yes, it's that yes. with the. Okay, cool. So, yeah, um, you guys all kind of uh, start heading into the mine, and um, you see a number of the people kind of streaming out with uh, various um, wounds. Uh, a lot of them have um, what looks like uh, kind of like blunt force damage to their, their face mm. and their bodies, and they're all just kind of seeming really dazed and kind of frazzled as they leave. Uh, exit in an orderly fashion. If you are hurt, exit to the right. If you are not hurt, exit to the left. Well, yeah, let's, all right. Everyone keep an eye out. Um, I want to use my uh, subterranean senses. Okay. Uh, because I am a Dengu, I uh, can double the de distance for all scent and sound-based awareness checks. Okay. Um, so I want to see if I can detect anything unusual. Um, Anywhere nearby? Yeah. Um, give me a uh, awareness check. Okay, so that would just be one d10, and then add my awareness. Yep. Okay. Uh, so I got a seven. So that would be uh, seven total. Yeah, seven total. I rolled yeah, um, a one. <laughs> you do feel you do um, smell a fairly pungent scent, but you're not really sure where it's kind of coming from. Ugh, there's too many people in here, but there's something that smells weird. Come on, guys, <laughs> let's go get that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, um, you got you kind of uh, start heading in. Um, yeah, against the flow see, of people. Yeah, you see um, a lot of people kind of heading from one direction, while in the various other directions, just people just kind of look around a bit confused at the, the panic going on. Okay. Uh, you people, don't be confused. You should leave. Don't worry. We're here to take care of this. They, they just kind of like nod their heads and start uh, leaving with everyone else. And uh, you hear a, a large kind of um, cry come from deeper within the, the mines. Almost sounds like a, a bit like howling. Mm. What was that? I don't know. A mine wolf, probably. 
My nose. I don't, what? That's, oh. Um, Bodwox, does that check out? Uh, maybe. How far away does it seem? Does it seem? Um, it, it actually sounded like it was getting closer. <clears throat> okay, can, uh, this isn't exactly how this ability works, but, uh, Tremor Sense uh, allows me to see, basically, see through substances, so can I just kind of, like, feel the vibrations of what's coming to me? Yeah. And see. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, what was the distance on it? Uh, it's 40, uh, or an additional 40 if I make an awareness check. Okay, uh, can I get an awareness check from you? Yes, you may. Roll better than I did. Uh, eight. That's good. Uh, once again, you kind of, you, you feel something coming, but you're not really sure what. It doesn't seem really massive, but uh, you're not entirely sure if there's, there's more than one or if it's just kind of one creature. Okay. <clears throat> all right, well, all right, how dark is it here? Uh, it's, it's, there are some lanterns kind of like set out here and there, but it is still fairly dim. Okay. Um. Can everyone see okay? Because I think we're about to have to <coughs> mix it up. <laughs> I can, I've got shadow sight. So you can talk to shadows. I can see in the dark. She can see shadows. Yeah, well, that's good enough for me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, uh, as long, I mean, it, yeah, I can see okay. I think. All right. Um, I uh, since it seems like it's getting closer, and uh, it it seems like we might be heading for some sort of conflict. I want to cast heightened senses. Okay. Um, to uh, strengthen my senses and increase my reflexes. Um, so I, I will go ahead and do that, I guess. So I get an initiative bonus for uh, half an hour. Okay, then I'm ready. And then I, I kind of like hunker down and get ready for a potential fight. Okay, uh, and as you guys uh, kind of start preparing, um, coming from uh, barreling out from the, uh, the direction that you saw a lot of the miners kind of fleeing from is a large monkey-like creature. Uh... And uh, following after it is uh, two small uh, kind of worms. Uh... And they're grubs. Do they do they look grub like angry? <laughs> uh, the, the 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 large kind of like monkey like creature has uh, almost like two ram horns, and he looks furious as he's waving around what looks like a massive kind of branch, which uh, seems quite strange given uh, how how little shrubbery and trees you've seen in these parts. Yeah, and the fact that he's in the middle of a mine. Does it does it look like they're like together, or does it look like the worms are like chasing the monkey creature? Um, they they seem to be kind of uh, following shortly after him, but they don't really look like they're chasing him. Okay. Oh, uh, Vodwax, what do we do? Uh, we defend ourselves. Mm. Okay. And with that, we'll uh, roll up some initiative. All right. Okay. So, uh, do we just roll 1d10 for initiative? Uh, yeah, plus your um, initiative, initiative mod. Okay. Oh. Plus your initiative mod, okay. Uh, right. It's by the HP. Ah, there we go. Top. So I got 26. Holy Damn. crap. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, you got a very high. I got an 11. And that's with my increased initiative. My initiative increase is 11. <laughs> I got a 16. Uh, I got 10. So uh, Ricky was 26. Mm-hmm. And we had Maldu at 11. Yes. Uh, and what were the other two? Uh, Vodwax got 16. And Tiny Willow got 10. Which is the name of my next children's book. <laughs> and Tiny Willow got 10. It's about and Tiny dogs, Willow got so. grammar. <laughs> it's about counting your toes. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, uh, just as a note, um, if you ever roll a 10, you get a plus five bonus to your final roll. Oh, oh man. Oh, okay. I, okay. <laughs> I rolled a 10. Uh, if I you that. ever roll a one, you get a minus five bonus to your final roll. Okay. Ooh. All right. Yeah, I have done that a couple times. Okay. Uh, no worries. But uh, yeah. Um, 
Actually, I rolled a, a one just then. For so your I guess, yeah, for my initiative. So I should probably have a minus five to that. You could re roll it. Oh, yeah, I'll re roll. I'm going to re roll. I'm going to use one of my re rolls. Of course, yes. So hold on. Yes, that was a four. Okay, so that is a, uh, a 14. A 14 is my initiative with no minus five. Nice. Yeah, um, uh, aside from that for rolls, uh, you can always, twice per day, um, add half of your luck bonus to a roll. Ooh, rounded up or down? Rounded up. Okay, cool. So uh, first up is going to be Rakiki. Uh, the creatures are about 20 feet away at this point. Ooh. Okay. Um. Wow. I guess, um, can I, I've got throwing darts. So can I grab one of those and throw? Yeah. Okay. So, um, so. Uh, we use an AP system in the game. So you should have uh, a little box for AP right by your HP value. Uh, um, it's like off to the... Yes, 12. So um, basically, uh, any, any attack or casting a spell um, or a, using a skill will generally be a normal action, so that'll cost seven. OK. Uh, so if you wanted to attack with your darts, that would be basically a normal action. Uh, okay. Short actions are usually kind of smaller things, like standing up, um, grabbing something out of your bag. Uh, that's only three AP. OK. And then. Um, Quick actions are just really, really fast things, like handing something off to someone else. Uh, that's one AP. OK. Um, moving is two AP or four AP if you wanted to move double your speed. OK. All right. So uh, I said I had my rondel yeah. out. So if I were to put that or either drop or put that away and then pull out a dart, would that be 10 AP basically for doing, would, sh would, would pulling something out be considered short? Um, because it's kind of on your belt, it would be fairly quick. Uh, okay. Putting your rondel away would be a, a short action. Um, dropping it on the ground would just be a free action. Okay, so I could, I could put it away, mm -hmm. I could, pull a dart and still throw. Yeah. That would be, okay, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, right. so, um, under your combat stats, uh, mm -hmm. it's about midway down the page. Um, you should see precision and acuity in defense. Yes. So precision is for melee attacks and throwing um, weapons. Okay. Uh, precision is for spells and um, non-throwing ranged attacks. Okay. And then defense is what you roll if you're being attacked. OK. Sorry, you said precision Precision is for melee attacks, and ac yep. acuity is for ranged attacks? Yeah. Not throwing, yeah, not, and not throwing attacks. Right, OK. OK. So then I just roll d10 and add acuity, basically? Um, because no, it's a throwing weapon, you're precision. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got those. Acu acuity is just backwards. ranged. Backwards. Uh, yeah, OK. Yeah. Precision is. OK. Is so I got six. Uh, are you throwing at the little white worms or the large kind of monkey creature? I, I would throw at the monkey creature. OK. Uh, so he critically fails his defense roll. Oh, no. Let's see. Uh, so you do deal um, high damage. So you, under your weapons, you should see two numbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the smaller one is your low damage. Mm -hmm. So basically in the system, um, Instead of rolling for damage, uh, how much damage you deal is based on how much you beat them by. Oh, so okay. if you just beat them, you deal low damage. If you beat them by three or higher, you deal high damage. Oh, OK. Then I deal five. OK. Uh, it, it gives off like a roar as you kind of uh, shoot out mm. one, of the, one of your darts into its, its chest. OK. Good job. Thanks. All right, Vodwoks, you should show them what happens when they mess with Vodwoks' crew. We should work um, on a name. So mm. next up are the, the worms. Uh-oh. <laughs> and uh, they actually 
Right. How how kind of um how 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 guys how are you guys kind of spread out in the, the cave? Are you kind of all clustered together? Are you? Uh, I imagine we're kind of clustered together. Yeah, probably. probably. Mm -hmm. And I am I'm picturing uh, Maldu at the front for some reason. That's probably. Yeah, because you're gonna you're 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 the one who can see probably the best here, and also I'm protecting everybody. I'm like mm -hmm. all two foot seven of me throwing things over your head. Yeah, using you as a meat shield. I am a meat shield. <laughs> a two foot seven meat shield, <laughs> about the size yeah, um, of a shield. The one of the worms actually rushes forward towards uh, the front of your group, and then sprays out. Oh no! A, a gas. Uh oh. Uh, so it's a 10-foot um, wave, so he kind of shoots it out um, 10 feet from him. Uh, the gas is, is almost gray in color. Ugh. And I am going to need all of you to make a disable uh, save. Disable uh -oh. save, okay. Yeah. Oh no, I rolled a one. Uh, I'm going to use my other reroll on that. I yes. do not want to roll a one on this. Mm -hmm. I guess you have to beat 12. Uh -oh. Ooh. I got a disable on Six. Oh. Yeah, I got a 10. Yeah, I got a 6. 5. I got a, I got a 10. We all failed. <laughs> um, I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to re-roll as well. Yeah. Cool. Must be nice. yeah, yeah, I couldn't. Oh, I got a 1. <laughs> so, you also, I got, also a got, one. got a 1. All right. Well. <laughs> we all failed. <laughs> so yeah, um, all of you lose 4 SP, uh, a stamina points. OK. And you all suddenly feel uh, all of your joints kind of start creaking as if like um, it's, it's becoming difficult to move. Oh no. Is this, a, is this like numb or par paralyzing effect? It is a paralyzing effect. Ah, okay. Well, I still failed. <laughs> <laughs> but good to know, because I have the ability to add one to my saves against any effect which would numb or paralyze. That would give me a two. <laughs> Minus five. Minus five. Minus five. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, that sucked. Ouch. Uh, so yeah, um, aside from that, uh, it just kind of like stands there. Uh, looking at the creature, it actually um, has uh, several long kind of whiskers running along its back. And you notice it doesn't have any eyes. And it, it's kind of like wan walking around on four really kind of thin, lanky arms. Ugh. <laughs> this thing is gross. <laughs> this is the monkey-like creature? No, no, this is oh, the, this is the, the, the worm. The worm, oh, OK. But the monkey has eyes. Yeah, yes. and horns. Uh, the monkey did look like it had eyes. OK, cool. Um, and next up is Vod. Cool. Get it, Vod Wogs. Cool, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use uh, one of my spells. Uh, Retinal necrosis, uh, which causes the subject with any uh, subject's eyes within 40 feet to rapidly disintegrate. Uh, okay. So uh, at the end of uh, the subject's next round, it's blind. The blind lasts for three full rounds. Uh, if the subject is healed, uh, it cures the blindness. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. In regards to the eyes, yeah. So. Uh, so he is blind for three rounds. Nice spin. Um, it should say uh, save on there. Uh, I don't see a save on here. It should be uh, after. Right the, after. Oh yeah, the yeah, yeah. Uh, save, uh, save uh, condition. So basically, you roll acuity, and then he rolls his condition save. Okay. You just rot his eyes out. <laughs> Whoa, 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 why are we rotting things' eyes out? It's wow, cool. Vod. It's yeah. cool. it's way to go to it's the uh, extreme nine. here. Okay, where's Acuity on here? Uh, Acuity's in er, the combat. It's in the combat section in the middle. Oh, oh uh, yeah. there it is. Uh, so that's a 10, so 15, 16, 17. Uh, yeah, um, his, his eyes start um, kind of decaying <laughs> and start looking like uh, they, they begin to kind of cloud over. Oh, he did it! Yeah, no. it's good. It's but good. now I'm I'm five points into death empowered. Okay. Oh, um, did you uh, empower it? Oh no, you I didn't. Can only actually, um, go into your death or life if you actually empower it. Oh, okay. I thought it was just whenever I use one of these spells. So basically, um, you can cast uh, all your spells kind of like normally. It's only when you sort of supercharge them and okay. give them extra benefits mm. that you're starting to kind of disrupt the balance. Okay. That's good. So you're doing okay. Okay. 
<laughs> um, unfortunately, that isn't actually the case, because as you're... Uh, are you doing anything else in your turn? Uh, no. As your turn ends, you suddenly uh, kind of stiffen up and fall over. <gasps> Uh-oh. Dead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a bit fun. <laughs> Thanks for joining uh, us for Endless Realms. <laughs> <laughs> so um, next up is Maldu. Uh, all right. So I am uh, I'm I'm feeling this kind of like stiffening uh, gas spray start to work. So before, uh, all right, worm. Now it's my turn, and I wanna I wanna dual wield my Tanfa. Uh, okay. And and try and attack it. So do I roll twice to dual wield? Uh, yeah, one for each attack. Okay, and that's precision, right? Uh, yes. Okay. And he'll roll defense for each of his. Okay. So I rolled an eight for my first attack. Uh, so he gets 11, so you do miss with the first attack. Oh no, I'm getting slower. <laughs> and then my second attack uh, is just a five. Uh, he critically fails. Oh, nice. So, uh, he does, you do hit him. Okay. Um, so, uh, did I beat him by enough to do um, high damage? He would get zero total, so yes. Okay, uh, then I do three damage to him. Okay. Ha! Oh. Stiffening up. Right. Nice job, Maldu. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, and at the end of your turn, if that's uh, everything for you. That's it. You stiffen up nope. and also fall over. <laughs> uh, next up is the other worm, who's going to rush over to... Uh, y you moved up a bit, so he'll actually rush over to Maldu. Oh no, <laughs> but I'm frozen. <laughs> uh, he actually um, climbs up on top of your chest and opens his mouth. Uh huh. And you see, um, he doesn't have massive teeth, uh, but instead <laughs> has like rows and rows and rows of really tiny serrated teeth. It actually looks almost like a, a grater. Uh huh. And he goes in to bite you. Oh no. Uh, so, um, while you're completely paralyzed, you're uh -huh. basically treated as, um, you can't actually roll defense rolls, you're just treated as having a, a flat one. Okay. So uh, he, he could worm. conceivably miss you, okay. um, but it's I, usually unlikely. And I'm guessing the, the bonus uh, DR I have when I'm dual wielding Tanfa doesn't come into account when I'm paralyzed. <laughs> um, not while paralyzed. Yeah, no. that makes sense. So uh, he uh, gets a total of four, which is enough to deal high damage on, that'll, that'll on do your, it. Uh, your kind of still form. Uh, so he's going to deal nine. Ooh, okay. And uh, causes you to begin bleeding for two damage. Oh, okay. So that's two damage I'll take every turn? Yep. Um, it's lowered by one every turn just because your wounds kind of start to clawed up a bit. Okay. So on your next turn, you'll take two, and then the turn after that, you'll take one. Okay. Uh, and after the worm is um, the big giant monkey whose eyes are starting to kind of cloud over. Oof. Uh, he's going to rush forward. Do, 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 do. If you guys could take all of these things out before you keel over in paralysis, that would be really helpful. Okay. Right, uh, okay. He is going to come down with his big old club and try and uh, club you, Maldu. Oh, wow. great. Uh, Sorry, you basically kind of like moved up a bit and uh, I did, were yeah. in the line of fire. And uh, he, he comes down with his club. Uh, okay. He only gets five. But okay. uh, that is enough to, to hit you for high, which is uh -huh. 10. 10, okay. Ouch. Wow. Thanks, Maldu. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he seems like really, really angry and just like furious. Okay, I'm feeling that. <laughs> but I cannot uh, scream. Next up is Tiny Willow. Yeah, it's me, Tiny <laughs> Willow. Um, I am going to 
uh, move into my sniper stance. Okay. Um, so that's two uh, stamina points, yes, to, yep. to And um, entering a stance that. is a free action you can do. Great. So I've moved into my sniper stance. And then um, it, are, is uh, this worm that's on top of Maldu, is that within point blank range? Uh, it's, it's pretty much, um, it, it's pretty much right, right adjacent to you because you guys are all kind of clump, clumped up. Okay. Um, oh boy. Yeah, that's, that'd be pretty heavy though. If I drop to zero stamina points, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, if you have no stamina left, um, uh -huh. you basically kind of get exhausted and on your next turn, the only thing you can really do is catch your breath, uh, regain stamina. Gotcha. Um, you can always use a short action to regain one SP. Okay. Okay. So if you had extra um, AP left over on the end of your turn, you can kind of um, basically catch your breath a little to regain a bit of it. I see. Okay. Cool. Um, uh, let's try this then. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a point blank attack then on the worm that's on uh, Maldu. Okay. Uh, um, and so because I'm in my sniper stance, I gain plus two to acuity rolls. <coughs> um, I increase the, my weapon's range, which doesn't matter right now. And I may ignore DR equal to uh, my level, which is four. So I could ignore four DR. Oh, um, real quick. Uh, yeah. Maldu, um, you should see a damage reduction on your combat section. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I did forget to mention that. Um, basically, we... Armor gives you damage reduction and magic reduction instead of uh, affecting your your defense and the ability to dodge attacks. Okay. You do get to reduce any damage you take by your damage reduction. Hmm. Oh, okay. Um, so I took two hits. So yeah. uh, my damage reduction is two. So I'll just add four back to what I have. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. No worries. Thank you. Okay. I'm not dying quite as bad now. <laughs> I realized I should have used this ability instead of the other one. I could have yeah, I had one I should have used as well, but it's cool. We're learning. Yeah. Um, of note, uh, at the end of the, the monkey's turn, you did see its eyes kind of shrivel up and uh, decay. Aww. <laughs> okay, so with this point black blank attack, uh, I am at a, a effectively a plus three to my acuity, mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, <laughs> and I ignore an additional four uh, damage reduction, um, but do, does my be does the sniper stance? Okay, so this worm does it have four uh, damage reduction already? Uh, no. Oh, it's got more than that. No, it, it, it's oh. got um less. Oh, okay. So if I wipe it out with my sniper stance, then this attack just gains plus three damage. Yep. Okay, cool. So I'm I'm just going to hit it with an arrow. Uh, I'm going to shoot right. it with my bow. Uh, let's see. That's uh, uh, you get six, six, eight, eleven. Uh, yeah, that's uh, going to be high damage. Nice. That's uh, eight plus three, so that's eleven damage. All right, and you ignore his dr. Uh, so yeah, it, it's um, you basically like shoot an arrow right through it, and it. Kind of gives off a screech and uh, moves its head in your direction. Ooh. Uh, anything Hoping else? it would die there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, that leaves me at five. Um, uh, no, I'm going to... So I have five action points left. I'd like to try to regain stamina. Okay. So yeah, uh, you can kind of catch your breath and regain an SP. Okay. Okay, I did that, and then now I will collapse into a paralyzed heap. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Uh, so you fall over uh, with your compatriots. Great. <laughs> We're just sent the falling down on top of each other. Oh boy, I hope that Vodwax does not fall on top of us. Uh, and then we go the to. Yeah, I fell on him. Uh, oh, okay, good. Kiki. Oh. Uh, okay. I want to try to cast Shadow Decoy. Okay. Uh, which creates an illusionary copy of myself adjacent to me. Uh, so it says check luck, and then MP is five. So I assume I use five uh, in mana points. Yeah. What is the check luck? Is that something I roll? 
Oh no, um, I, I believe it's. Do, do, do. Uh, it should say in the description. I believe basically um, any creature trying to hit you um, essentially has to, unless you declare one of them is actually you, you have to basically mm -hmm. make a luck check to actually see if they hit the real you. Ah, okay, okay. Perfect. Then, yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay. All right, uh, yeah, so um, basically uh, another you kind of pops up and... Uh, Starts uh, looking like they're they're ready to battle. Now there's two Rikikis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, um, one of them's about to fall over, paralyzed. Well, the other <laughs> would also fall over. You know, just. <laughs> well, which myself, Rikiki should I shoot? <laughs> <laughs> giving myself more chances. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, one of them does indeed fall over. But which one? And then the other one falls over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it. It is still under your control, even though you're kind of uh, uh, a little uh, incapable of doing really anything yourself. Okay. So, yeah, uh, the so two Rikikis fall over on the ground. <laughs> you're just going to make it fall over? <laughs> yes. Like any I, of they, us have been hey, all that there's any, <laughs> true. If there's any well, coup de gras happening. That monkey doesn't got eyes anymore. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Good point. So, um, <laughs> one of the worms, the one that's currently... Uh, Eating my not face? Not on Maldu's chest. Oh, not mm. that one. Um, actually kind of looks over at the, the, the newer Kiki uh, and uh, scuttles a, a little off to the side and tries to breathe out another um, pool of gas. Mm. Uh -oh. And as uh, it just kind of, as your illusion presumably just stays still, it tilts its head a few different directions before uh, seeming satisfied. <laughs> Done. Nailed it. That thing is <laughs> paralyzed. <laughs> uh, so, Vod, um, you're currently paralyzed. Uh, at the end of the, your turn, you do get another save to try and kind of break free from this. So, uh, can I... Does paralyzation uh, stop me from using any of my spells? Uh, yes. Okay. Unless um, they specify that you can use them even while paralyzed, but I think there's only a couple of those in the game. Yeah, I don't see it in this spell that would have been great to use. So, uh, <laughs> D10 plus your disable save bonus. Uh, disable. Uh, it's only four. Uh, so that's nine total. Uh, yeah, um, you find your, yourself kind of uh, coming back to yourself as you're your arms and legs kind of creak and uh, groan. <coughs> but uh, it seems like you've managed to kind of cough up uh, most of the, the gas you, you inhaled. Good <laughs> That's really gross. Good, yes, yes, okay. Uh, and Maldu, um, you, you aren't really able to do anything at the moment, but you, at the end of your turn, you can make a save against this poison. Okay, but I do take two bleed damage, right? Uh, yes, yes. And that's not affected by damage resistance, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so I will try. I have to I have to roll it. Oh, wait, well, I guess I have to see. All right, uh, I will try. It's nine? A nine. Whew. Yep, that's a one. Uh, <laughs> so I do not. I am full on still paralyzed and getting cheese grated by this worm. No, Where, did, did you realize uh, both your tiny? He shot him, so he's pissed off at him. Oh, good. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, don't, I used both my rerolls already. Don't worry about it. I got it. I you got guys you. are like bite sized over there for this worm. I got you, fam. <laughs> you got me, fam. Yeah. Maybe he. Maybe a grub will crawl out, and he'll be like, "Ooh, grub." Yeah, that's true. I do still have like uh, eighteen. Or he'll be like. My babies. <laughs> Why did you have my babies? Yeah, could go either way. Uh, you actually do have a lot of grubs on you, don't you? I do have a lot, yeah. <laughs> they start eating you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, They're probably escaping my pockets as this is happening. <laughs> so the, uh, the worm actually does crawl up on top of you. Uh, and give me a, uh, a moderate luck check. OK. Um, so so it's, it's just a luck check for you. Um, I, I basically add a, uh, a modifier to my dice roll because you're not really rolling against another subject. Okay. I rolled a 16. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, so it jumps onto your chest and then um, basically buries its head in your pockets and starts eating through them. Oh. And kind of starts like almost crawling through your clothes. Oh no, how gross. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, the the big old monkey with the rotten eyes with the rotten eyes so blindness basically applies a minus six to all of your rolls uh, you can reduce it if you have awareness above five uh, he does not seem to be an incredibly aware creature though uh, so he tries to smash the ground in front of him um, at Maldu the, the last thing he kind of uh, sensed. Okay. Uh, so you are, you are still paralyzed, so you only have kind of a flat one. Yep, uh, super paralyzed. With his penalty, he'll have a minus three to the roll uh, for a total of zero. Yeah, mm, nice. Uh, so um, as you're kind of just like standing there, uh, lying on the ground, uh, he, he smashes his branch against the side of your head. Mm. Just like right on the stone floor b beside you and uh, just kind of like yells in uh, anger and frustration. Yay. Don't <laughs> talk, you'll hear where you are. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we get to Tiny Willow. It's me again. <laughs> uh, well, I guess uh, I can't do anything unless I can get out of this... Uh, this paralyzed state. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Um, so indeed, uh, you have to beat an 11. Or tie. Okay. Um, Good luck. And I'm rolling against a condition? Is that what um, I'm... Disable. Disable, okay. okay. Oh, uh, that's, a, that's a seven. Mm. That's a seven, I didn't do it. Mm. That includes my plus one. Um, uh, well, while I'm while I'm paralyzed, <laughs> can I do like a uh, can I do like a wilderness check? Or, uh, yeah, yeah, to kind of uh, get an idea of um, what these are. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. for the worms, it would be Subterra if you have that. I do. Uh, yeah. Wilderness would be for the the big old monkey. Okay, um, I'm gonna do uh, wilderness first for the monkey. Okay. Uh, you have to beat ten or um, you have to get ten or higher. Ten or higher. Well, that's mm -hmm. a nine. You're probably distracted by how paralyzed you are. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> you could always add half of your luck to the roll. Um, I feel like I might need that <laughs> later on. When you're not paralyzed. You get it twice per day. Twice per day, Tom. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it just for the heck. Yeah. So that's an eleven then. So yeah, uh, you know, um, the the big old monkey creature is a, a ganungatang. Um, they they generally do live in uh, the mountains, um, so it isn't too strange to see them in this area because there are kind of um, some hills and rocky areas around here. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> usually odd to see them inside of a mine. With with um, a tree branch. Yes. Uh, well, the, the tree branches, um, they are kind of intelligent enough to use fairly simple weapons. Okay. So it isn't too odd to see them kind of wielding um, either a, kind of a club made of a, a branch or, or a large rock. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that they're, um, they're really good at kind of like just thrashing about and hitting stuff, everything nearby them. And uh, yeah, if you are. kind of deal a lot of damage to them, they, can mm -hmm. tend, they get um, really angry. Oh. So they get um, stronger, but a little less uh, good at Accurate? Hitting. Okay. Yeah. They're like Hulk. Yeah, mm -hmm. great. Um, cool. Hey, guys. Remembered something. Don't, maybe don't make it mad. I feel like you're using your lips a whole lot for someone <laughs> who's paralyzed. I'm not, I don't have lips. I'm a tree. <laughs> also, oh, fair point. I think it's already odd. What? It's already odd. It's already odd. It's already angry. Oh, I got that. It's already mad. Oh, yeah, it's mad. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, We're still paralyzed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not you. You're doing great, uh, Bob Go get it, Bob Wox. Uh, did you want to move the, the, uh, the copy of you? Um, <laughs> Frustrate the worm. <laughs> sure, I'll make the copy get up. And just uh, Shake it. run <laughs> the opposite direction that we are. See if uh, I yeah, can lead um, them away. Despite not having eyes, uh, both of the worms do look at the uh, the the small skitty running away. 
<laughs> and uh, at the end of your turn, you do get another disable save. Okay. Uh, it's you need to be ten or higher. Cool Ooh. boy. I got a ten. Nice. Uh, you find yourself uh, regaining your, your your overall facilities. You can you feel like uh, your your muscles and uh, joints are kind of unlocking and kind of creaking around. Okay. Nice. And uh, we get to one of the worms. Oh, good. Uh, this is the one who's already breathed out twice. Um, you, you almost look like uh, he almost looks like he's kind of a, a little exhausted from from constantly breathing this gas. Understandable. Yeah. Mm. That's the way uh, I am. So he nice is still him, going to right? chase <laughs> after your copy <laughs> and try and attack it. Oh my! So um, you, you do get a defense roll for your copy just to uh, see if you can kind of avoid. Uh, it's basically treated as having your defense because you're able to kind of move it about as if it was you. And that's okay. just the defense bonus? Uh, yeah. Down in combat? Uh, I see. Okay. Uh, uh, so ten. it gets seven. I got a ten. Nice. Um, yeah. Your, the, the, the fake uh, Rikiki expertly uh, backflips out of the way of the, uh, the little worm as it comes flying at him. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. And uh, next up, we go to Vod. All right. Uh, oh, good. Oh, oh, God. God. Uh, I want to help out my buddy who's stuck okay. on the ground. Um, Thank you. Would would uh, <laughs> so would the the things affecting them be considered poison? Uh, you have uh, a. <coughs> It, based on the fact that you've kind of experienced it yourself, you feel like it's probably poison? All right. Then I am going to use Extract Toxins on Maku, uh, which... Maldu. Maldu, sorry. Uh, which uh, I, I, I pulled <laughs> forth uh, all poisons held within the subject's body all at once, leaving terrible injuries behind. Uh, all the poison <laughs> is... Uh, it, uh, is is pulled forth and into a, like a, a ball that briefly floats in front of me. Uh, so I extract it from you, but you do take one damage, which mm. cannot be reduced. No! <laughs> it creates holes as it's pu being pulled out of your body. I'm helping. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, after Vod, uh, we go to Maldu. Who is now able to move? <laughs> I can move. Yeah. Oh, I'm still bleeding. Hey, you know what's kind of funny is that Tiny Willow is like more of an actual tree right now. <laughs> it's not that funny. Um, okay, so I'm I can I'm move. Like a tree and, yeah. uh, but I'm I'm still on the ground and there's still this worm on top of me, right? Uh, yes. But it uh, is currently I'm um, squirming around in your clothing. <laughs> oh right, gross. Um, so I can I cast uh, sacred arrow uh, when it's like that close to me. Uh, yes. Um, so normally when you're you're casting um, spells or making attacks, if you make a ranged attack out of at something else that isn't adjacent to you, the adjacent creatures do get like a chance to attack you. Okay. Essentially, an attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but if you're attacking it, um, you don't really have to deal with that. Okay, then I am going to cast Sacred Arrow, and I'm going to materialize an arrow of spirit energy and fire it from my palm at this, at this grub. All right. Uh, so I roll Acuity for that? Yep, versus right. his defense. Uh, he critically fails, so he gets a zero. Well, I rolled a one, <laughs> uh, so I got a three minus five, so I got a negative two. Uh, so, um... He's, he's not really very dexterous as he's crawling around in your clothes, but you still manage to, like, somehow just kind of, like, fire it at the ceiling. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that tracks. <laughs> All right, I've regained my bill. Oh, gee. <laughs> Try oh. hitting the worm. Uh-oh. Classic Maldu. It, it goes... <laughs> <laughs> uh, after Maldu is the worm uh, on t uh, crawling around inside you. Uh, so... It's not my clothes, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's uh, going to try and bite you again. Oh, no. All right, uh, so um, because you are kind of lying on the ground, uh, you get a minus two penalty to uh, your defensive roll. Nice. Uh, so he gets a total of six. I got a four. 
Uh, so that's only low damage. Okay. Which is... Let me jump back over to him. Uh, so that's only going to be six, reduced by your DR. Okay, and because I am now unparalyzed and I'm dual wielding my tanfas, do I get my uh, uh, yes. bone? Yes. Okay, cool. So I only take two damage from that. Nice. Yeah, uh, you kind of like uh, managed to uh, shove them a little away with your tanfas no. enough that uh, you only kind of get a grazing blow on you. No. <laughs> and because he didn't deal high damage, uh, you don't begin bleeding again. Oh, great. <laughs> I know I seem pretty beat up, but I'm actually feeling pretty good about this now. <laughs> so, uh, next up is the monkey guy. Um, oh, wait. <laughs> and you said he was blind for five rounds? Three rounds. Three rounds. OK. Uh, so that was one. So he's got two more rounds of being blind. Uh, he once again tries to smash his uh, big old club down into Maldu. Uh -oh. Look, and, guys, I'm stopping uh, the worm. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a six plus a uh, total of nine. Okay, and I'm at a minus two, right? Because. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, minus three because of. Uh, so he should actually be at uh, three overall because of his blindness. Total of one, then. Uh, so he hits you for low damage. Okay. Uh, which is only six. Uh, okay. All right. So I only take still two. Up. You're still up. Yeah. Uh, he right. seems kind of um, really frazzled as uh, he's, <laughs> he's blind and can't really see anything. Okay. Now I'm stopping the worm and the monkey, but I could use some help. <laughs> I, I did You're doing good. <laughs> Thanks and for we'll painfully extracting that willow. poison. Uh, the only one still paralyzed. Hey, it's me, Tiny Willow. <laughs> <laughs> hey. uh, so at the, the end of your turn, you do get uh, another disable save. Um, I will do that. I'm, I, will, I will look up. Uh, <coughs> I will try and do a subterra check on these uh, worms, though. OK. Uh, so for your disable, you have to beat eight, or eight or higher. And for okay. the worms uh that is also beat eight or higher okay i'm gonna do worms first nope uh, that didn't happen yep. okay now uh at all not even remotely close nope okay <laughs> the worms <laughs> um and now i will try and get out of my decision you said eight or higher yep uh yeah i got a nine nice sweet Okay, great. Oh, oh, hey, that feels much better. Oh, you're not a tree anymore. I'm, well, I'm still technically. Oh, good. Welcome back. <laughs> you guys are doing great. I don't know. Those I'm doing motions. Great. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm, I'm wielding tonfas. That's how you hold them. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, oh, you're right. <laughs> It's fine. Oh, oh, yeah, the uh, worm is there. defeating them both at the same time. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, after Tiny will be Rikiki. Mm. Uh, okay. So my shadow is dodging that one worm, yep. and I will go over. <laughs> I'll. I'll. Oh, here's a question. Mm -hmm. If I could come up essentially behind the monkey, I guess, would yeah. I get flanking with Maldu? Uh, yeah, so uh, in the game, flanking is more um, direction-based. So simply okay. being behind him gives you kind of flanking. Um, attacking from directly behind him gives you essentially a back attack, which is a bigger bonus. Uh, OK. Um, so yeah, um, because he's kind of blind right now, he doesn't even notice you as you uh, pass by. Okay. So you can very safely uh, wander behind him if you wanted. Okay. After standing up. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll tack with my rondel. Okay. Um, so, plus three. So I'm adding. Uh, where'd it go? Plus oh, plus three to my damage, right? But yep. not plus to my attack. No. Okay. Um, okay. because you're attacking from behind him, uh, you do get a, um, an extra plus two bonus. Mm. And then he's going to take an extra minus two on top of his blindness. Okay. <coughs> Sweet. All right, so, so. He's at a total of minus three defense. Uh, 
So that is six. I rolled a six. Uh, so you do. Um, whenever you tie, it basically goes to whoever whoever is taking an action, essentially. Okay. So um, you do deal low damage then. Okay, so that's two. And then. Uh, so it says also, uh, I dual wielding allows a free attack with the offhand weapon each time an attack with a main one is made. Yeah. Is that so, this instance? If you had your other kind of rondel there, you could have. Uh, you, could, you could still punch him if you wanted. Okay, okay, I'll do that. Punch him. Punch. Punch it. I got a 10. Ooh, so Ace you get to add plus five to that. Yeah. Oh, I got a 15. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, so uh, additionally on um, critical hits, uh, you also ignore any DR or MR they might have. Oh, Ooh, nice. Cool. So uh, he, you easily beat him uh, and deal high damage. Um, so with the fist, I believe specifically it should have been pretty much the same as your daggers, but two less high damage. So that would make it four. Yeah. Okay. So uh, basically, you come in, you uh, you stab him uh, oh, lightly, and then, and then give him like a, a, kid, kid, a good old kidney punch. Nice. I also had plus three damage to the two that I did for my okay. back, which I forgot about. Uh, yeah. So um, he gives a massive cry of rage. Uh oh. I think you made him angry. Oh right, I wasn't uh, supposed to do that. Remember? Yeah. Um, he does indeed seem quite angry at the moment. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, Whoops. So if I came up behind him, my attack was <coughs> seven uh, AP. And then if I want, could, wait, I would have already moved. Yeah. So I moved. Can I move again? If I saw uh, You can only do up? one move action. And okay. because you had to stand up, that would have been a short action. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. Then that's it. That's all I'll do. Yeah. Okay, uh, solid turn. Uh, the worm currently uh, currently fighting with uh, your, your copy um, <laughs> takes another lunge at it. Nice. Make a defense. So, uh, oh. He gets uh, a five. Okay. Uh, I hope we don't lose fake Rikiki. I know. I've add, really yeah. grown attached to her. Mm -hmm. I got a five. <laughs> Um, so he does hit, uh, and with that, um, I believe your copy dissipates. Yes, I believe so. Take her kiki! No! no. <laughs> yeah, it disappears. Oh, whoops. Okay, uh, so yeah, um, it, it looks around confusedly uh, <laughs> as it's unsure of where it went. <laughs> and uh, we get to Vaughn. Are you Hamburglar now? Uh, did you guys hear that giggling Maybe. sound? So every, <laughs> nobody, nobody's paralyzed anymore? No. no. Okay. No, please stop no. helping us. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good. All right. I'll, I'll just help help myself. You see, uh, you see, Vod like like grab his arm and it like sort of shadow energy shows up and then like a piece of bone like just pops out and he grabs it and yanks it and uh, it becomes a bone spear. No, why, and, Vod? And I'm going to attack with bone spear. That's uh, why he's our leader. It's it, uh, it. There's no save on this because he gives himself compound um, fractures. It's an yeah. attack roll essentially because you're basically firing off a, a spear of your own bone. Okay, and then uh, so, so it'd be your acuity versus its defense. Does he roll? Are you that attacking back? Um, the monkey or the worm? The monkey. Good. Let's continue to make that one. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's a one. That's bad. Uh, you hurt yourself. Penalties. Too much. He's at a th total of three. Well, then I am negative two, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, you're kind of um, maybe a little woozy from uh, that poison that uh, you just kind of got over. Um, also pulling my own bone out of me, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Might have been the wisest thing to do. <laughs> you're, 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 a little, uh, you're a little kind of unused to, unused to uh, perhaps um, ripping out your own bones and firing them at people. Yeah. It's a new thing yeah. you're trying out. Yeah. Oh. Wow. It looked cool though, right? So <laughs> dope. Ooh, all the blood is still pouring out. Yeah. But... Yeah, it hurt a lot. <laughs> uh, next up would be Maldu. Like two <gasps> HP worth. Okay, well, the monkey seems distracted, but this worm is still on top of me. So I'm going to try this arrow again. Spirit arrow! <laughs> all right. Um, uh, he gets a nine. It's pretty. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, yes, I got a 10. Sweet, uh, I did that's something. That's low damage. Um, 
I think it's it oh, um, says it just deals yeah, uh, damage. So with uh, a lot of spells, most of them just have like a flat damage. Right. Uh, just because like if you get hit by it, it kind of releases its energy in. Okay. So it does eight. Nice. Hey. Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, it looks quite battered at this point. Uh, the worm's kind of like uh, screeching around atop you. It's still here. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I only have so many bones left. <laughs> Just one more bone attack. Uh, after Tiny Willow would be Rikiki. Oh, wait. Maldu? That was Maldu. Um, after, after Maldu, uh, yes, sorry. Um, would be the worm on top of Maldu. Oh, no. Uh, so it's going to uh, kind of screech in your face. Turn about. And uh, try and uh, gnaw on you with his uh, greater teeth. Oh. Oh, oh okay. I probably should have healed my. <laughs> uh, so he gets a nine. <laughs> a nine, no problem. Oh wow, actually, yeah, I got a ten. Uh, yeah, um, you you expertly uh, managed to kind of keep him off you with your your, your sweet tonfa. <laughs> tonfa defense. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, uh, he just kind of um, screeches and screeches, unable to kind of reach you. Maldu uh, is also and... screeching. <laughs> 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 It screeches, then you screech. Yeah. Eh. Um, the uh, yeah, the Ganungatang is going to try and find the location of uh, <laughs> of the uh, little little weasel person behind him. Uh, so he's going to make an awareness check, and that's going to be against your sneaking. Okay. Where's my sneaking? Good luck with this, Rikiki. Yeah, I'm not very good it's under at cunning. sneaking under cunning. Ah. Uh, oh, so I have. Do I go with the total then yes. here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, mm. I got a zero. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna reroll that. Yeah, yes. good move. Uh, I got eight. Uh, he gets eleven. Well, ah. I'm like, you can't see me. You can't find me. Stop saying here, here. that out loud! <laughs> no one's hearing me. You can't hear me. Am I my double? I don't know. <laughs> Which one am I? Oh wait, did that one? So, uh, he 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 swings around. Uh, <laughs> sees uh, your general direction. He is still blind. I believe this is the last turn. Yes. Okay. And uh, he swings his club down at your location. Uh oh. So he's still blind. So he does still take the penalty. Uh, so that's a total of three. Okay, and then I got an 11. Uh, yeah, you, you expertly uh, dodge out of the way as uh, he kind of um, just rages around. Ha, ha, it's working, it's working, see? <laughs> nice work, Rikiki. Stop see? saying and that. <laughs> now we've got Tiny Willow. It's me, Tiny Willow! <laughs> I don't know oh, why no, I have to say that every time. It's okay if you do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not trying to sneak. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to move it back into my sniper stance. Um, and then, uh, I'm going to try and, can I attack the worm that's still on Maldu, uh, without? I'm going to say yes. Yeah. Without, okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, but he's doing fine. Yeah. Then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack the worm that's on Maldu, but not with point blank or anything. Just, just a regular old firing into this. So yeah, uh, he gets a nine. Okay. Mm, yep. That's bad. That's you bad. You rolled a one. That's bad. I rolled a one. <coughs> so. so uh... Yeah, um, you're, you're kind of uh, feeling a little uh, a little off your game. Mm. We're rolling uh, a lot of ones. You, kind of just, uh, you actually fire at the exact same spot at the ceiling that uh, that Maldu huh. just fired at. Uh, you see that? That's That wasn't easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> but I did it. Um, I'm going to, then uh, with the rest of my action points, I'm going to regain another stamina point. Okay. Uh, then we get to Rikiki. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Do something! <laughs> I... Okay, there's nothing else up there. Oh. <laughs> I want to... Uh, I don't want to... 
I want to use muffling shield on this monkey. Ooh. Okay. Which Muffaletta will Muffaletta shield. Allow it to move silently, but it will okay. also <laughs> dampen all sound. Yeah, so it won't be able to hear anymore. So it'll be blind and uh, deaf. Wait. Right? It's blind did <laughs> just end. Oh, well. Um, well, it ends uh, in, in Vod's turn, which is coming up pretty much next. Okay. Or, um, oh, maybe I'll do dark grip instead. It just strikes the subject, leaving behind a mass of shadows that wrap around and bind a subject to the location. So that, that would keep, if, if I hit, that would keep the monkey there. Yep, so he wouldn't really be able to leave his space without um, being, unless he tries to actually break free. Okay, I'll try that. So this uses mana points and stamina points? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so, so am I rolling an attack? Yeah, um, so it's still a precision attack because you're basically using your weapon. Okay. I will do that. Uh... So that's a 12. Uh, so he is still technically blind until Vod's <laughs> turn. So he is at uh, one. So yeah, okay. you hit for high damage. Yeah. Okay. And then this says, if the attack hits, it deals shadow damage instead of its normal damage type. And the yeah, subject so becomes immobilized for three rounds. So, um, so instead of basically, um, you basically kind of like coat your blade in shadows and then strike at him. So okay. instead of dealing uh, physical damage, it deals uh, shadow damage. Pretty okay. sweet. And uh, nice. he gives off a screech. How much damage does he take? So this is high. Uh, it would be six. So, um, he's actually looking um, really, really kind of uh, rough physically. It looks like he's kind of, kind of on his last legs. Uh -oh. OK, that's all I'll do. And we get to the other worm. Um, so the, the other worm, the one that kind of uh, put you guys down initially, uh, looking at the, the monkey, it uh, kind of tweaks its head off to the side, almost like it's listening to something, before it uh, immediately rushes down the, the tunnel they originally came from. Hmm. Uh, I would find that interesting if I wasn't so distracted by this worm! So yeah, uh, next up would be Vod, and you see um, the Ganonkatang's eyes kind of uh, seem to clear up and uh, get rid of like the, the sort of moldy growths that were kind of growing on it. Okay. Uh, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to sacrifice some of my health and give it to you, because you were fighting a lot and very, very hurt. <laughs> so you gain back seven hit points. Oh, nice. <clears throat> That's mighty kind of you. Yeah. <laughs> Does it, is it gross when it happens? <laughs> uh, you see me kind of fall, and you just see, like, my, the, like, like, my color, like, you know, I, I'm a very, like, very ash, like, it goes from very dark black to very ash, and you see, like, me kind of, like, the energy around me kind of fade a little bit as oh. I, like, Send it to you. Okay, so not the most upsetting thing no. that you do. <laughs> no, just my life force is being drained from me. Oh, thanks. <laughs> my mouth, I can't, I feel like I can't smell smells, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, after Vod would be Maldu. All right, this worm on top of me. Yes. I have had about enough of it. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna switch things up and fire a sacred arrow! <laughs> oh. You're not gonna heal yourself this time? No. Okay. Uh, so he gets eight. I got a seven. No. Oh. So close up. Uh, you could always add, uh, get a bit of luck I'm in gonna, there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add four to it. And Ooh. Give, and that's an 11, so I do eight more damage to it. So yeah, uh, yeah. With that, it actually um, screeches, and uh, your 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 sacred arrow actually like, pierces through it and uh, kind of like splits it in two, and it just kind of like falls over and uh, kind of squirms around a bit before growing still. I did something. <laughs> just Good like job. my arrow that went through it. 
Your arrow went through it. I'm Tiny Willow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'd like to stand up. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> uh, so that worm's dead. Uh, the the uh, big old monkey there can see again. <clears throat> Good, good, good. But he's good. in a, a rough shape. Um, so he Is actually he uh, screeches at all of you. Nice. And then he's going to try and disengage. So uh, basically, if you try and move away, you um, you do take essentially an attack opportunity. Uh, disengage is an opposed presence check. So uh, basically, they use their, they basically try and kind of like force themselves away from you. Hmm. So uh, he's going to make a presence check against those who are adjacent to him. Which I believe is Maldu and Rikiki. Yes. Okay. Let's do so, it. So uh, he's uh, critically fails. Um, <laughs> that's going to be a total of three. I got six. I got eight. Uh, so you guys can both take an attack against him as he tries to run away. Okay. okay. Sweet. Oh, I got a minus two. Uh, so that would have been a nine versus you. But I got a critical hit, and I got a 16. Ooh. Uh, he Ooh. also critically succeeds and oh. gets a 17. Aww. Also, when this dark grip is on them, there's a... Oh, a oh wait. Um, he actually had to try and break free from that first. Uh, so I will roll that up. So this is going to be... Uh, it is against your acuity because it's a magical effect. Okay, so... Make an acuity roll. Oh, I make the roll, I see. Yeah. So he's trying to just kind of like force himself free. Um, So he gets uh, a total of 11. Uh, I got a seven. Okay, uh, so he does kind of like break free from the the magical shadows, kind of keeping him shackled to the ground and uh, rushes off. Okay. Um, Unfortunately, because he kind of had to take an action to, to do that, he doesn't get incredibly far. You can still kind of see him down the tunnel. He's about uh, 40 feet away. Okay. After and, him, uh, Vodwalks. We'll get to uh, Tiny. <laughs> um, uh, thank you for the raid, Allegria. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Hey, Allegria. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I'm Tiny Willow. Yeah, yeah, oh, we, he's we, Tiny Willow. We knew that already. Um, and I am going to shoot an arrow into this monkey. <laughs> and I'm going to kill it. Calling it right here, well, right don't now. Don't tell the monkey what you're doing. Uh, he gets a nine. Sure. That's <laughs> fine. That's fine. <coughs> uh, did yeah. you beat a nine? I did not beat a nine. Do you want to uh, add half your luck? Let's see, I got a seven. So if I added half my luck, that would be a nine. That would hit. Yep, uh, yeah. for low damage. Okay, but I can't add my luck anymore. Nope. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, uh, so you said low damage? <coughs> yeah. Um, uh, that's a four. Well, can I say I used a barbed arrow for that one? Uh, sure. Okay, then it's five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he does still look like he's up and kind of like uh, moving about. He looks really, really injured as he's just kind of like pummeled. Uh, he's got some uh, some bruises on his side from where he got punched. Um, a few dagger wounds and arrow wounds. Okay. Um, some pride wounds. His eyes are like <laughs> crusty. Yeah. <laughs> it's annoying. Uh, well, I... I feel bad for him, but there's nothing I can do about that. So, <laughs> I uh, I'm just going to take another another deep breath and regain another stamina point. Okay. Uh, would Rikiki want to do anything? Um, yeah, I think I'll do the throwing dart again and put okay. my rondel away. So, uh, uh, three. three yeah. Ah, hmm. you got a three? Yes. You want to add half your luck? Sure. Why not? That'll make it a six. Uh, so yeah, <coughs> uh, that would be low damage. Okay, so two. Okay, uh, so yeah, he's... So with that, he uh, collapses oh! onto the ground from, uh, <laughs> from deep into you the just tunnel. just needed me. <laughs> 
<laughs> nice start. Oh, thank you. I, I practice with them. I'm really good with them. Mm -hmm. So he was running back the way that the worm ran, right? Which was yes. where they came from? Yes. OK. Um, I want to take a closer look at this worm with Subterra. OK. I got uh, a four. Higher? Yeah, I didn't make it. OK. Um, does the, the, the branch that he was holding, does it look like it's just been, like he's had it for a while, it's just sort of a club now? Oh, uh, looking at it, it actually looks um, moderately fresh. Oh. Can and I... uh, you, you notice, um, <clears throat> looking at it, it you, you notice some signs of kind of decay, but mm -hmm. it still looks moderately like it's, not, not like it's as bad as the grass was, but it mm -hmm. does look like it's kind of experienced some of the same sort of effects. Is it is it a, a, a an indigenous plant to this area? Uh, make a wilderness check. Great, nerd. <laughs> you know what? I don't need it right now, Maldu. Uh, that's a twelve. Uh, so yeah, you needed to beat eight. Uh, so yeah, you know specifically that. Um, <clears throat> not only is it indigenous to this area, but it's um, more commonly seen in uh, fey forests. So basically, uh, forests um, hmm. <clears throat> where uh, fey creatures kind of like congregate. Hmm. Um, I will impart that knowledge to the rest of you. Well, what does that mean then? Well, I, I don't know, but it's, it's the, not from here. It's not from here. Maybe there's a fey forest somewhere down here in the mine. Or maybe there's a portal. Well, let's let's follow that worm. Follow okay. that worm. <laughs> um, and yes, I will, I will, yeah, I will, I will use my tracking as necessary if I have to. to yeah. Um, the, the tunnel kind of heads fairly straight forward mm -hmm. and eventually you, um, get to an area in the, in the tunnel where you see a large hole in the side of the wall that doesn't really look like it was kind of dug out by the, the miners. It's, it's fairly rough and looks, um, Almost like something bit its way through. Oh. Uh, we should probably go that way, huh? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah let's can I get that. a subterra check from everyone? Yeah. Yes. I got a nine. I got a seven. Six. Uh, six. Uh, so none of you quite recognize um, the, the actual bite marks. <clears throat> okay. Just that it, it looks like something chewed its way through the walls. It does look like a fairly uniform <coughs> tunnel. <clears throat> so whatever did it, it looks like it, it is some sort of like tunneling creature. Um, while we are inspecting this, I want to try and heal up anyone who is hurt. Is anyone hurt other than me? I, I am missing seven hit points because I gave them to you, but... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give them right back to you, buddy. Oh, thank you. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal you for eight, and then I, I will heal myself for eight as well. Um, real quick, for people who might have joined that raid and come in here, or anyone who's new, uh, we are playing Endless Realms, which is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, I am playing a Yakshi Warden. I am playing a Dengu, which is a, like a mole person, and I am a Shrine Keeper, spiritual healer. I am playing a Skiddy uh, Ninja, who's like a weasel named Rikiki. I'm playing a Ventili, uh, Animancer, which is basically like a shadow person who uh, manipulates life and death. Slenderman. It's yeah. Slenderman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you healed a little bit of uh, Bodwox. Yeah. Great. Do you have, how do you feel? I feel, I mean, I feel like balance is being restored. Mm -hmm. Should we go into this big old chewed out hole? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Let's go. No, nope, it's, it's never gonna stick. Nope, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, crawling through the hole, it's, it actually goes on for quite a while. Uh, this is the, the, uh, the smaller of you, which is the majority of the party, uh, managed mm -hmm. to make it through <laughs> fairly <laughs> easily. Uh, Vod has to kind of like squeeze around a bit here and there. 
pull some bones out every now and then yeah. to get a little more Hold flexibility. Uh, uh, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> and uh, eventually, you actually um, reach the surface. This actually oh. looks like it was a tunnel coming directly up from uh, from like up above. <laughs> oh my eyes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, fine. Looking around, you actually look like you're uh, a little ways away from, from the town. And uh, off in the distance, you can actually see a fairly large swamp land that looks lo a, lot, a lot less um, vibrant than you would normally expect like a wetland to be. It, it's very kind of uh, decayed and kind of stagnant. Hmm. I would say something from here might be uh, filtering in to everything else. Is there any sign of that worm? Let me look. Um, give me an awareness check. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I got a 14. Ooh. I got an 11. I got 11. Uh, negative two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all but one of you. Trees are um, very easily uh, spot uh, what looks like the, the worm kind of scurrying off away um, towards the swamplands. Mm. There it is. Uh, one of you said you got 14, right? Yeah, that was me. Um, you actually notice um, off in the swamplands what looks like some, some trees actually kind of like peeking up over um, some fairly long grass in the area. Guys... They, they look a bit strange compared to like normal trees, but yeah. You guys probably can't see this because you're all so tall, <laughs> but it looks like there's some weird trees <laughs> over there from my vantage point, which is much lower. Trees? Yeah. Over <laughs> towards where that worm is going. It's your people. Here, duck down a little and maybe you can That's see. That's racist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, you said you were a tree, so. I'm tree-like. Uh, we can discuss the uh, politics of trees later after that worm. Trees have no politics. I'm Tiny Willow. Then why do they arrange themselves in a parliament? Good point. <laughs> so yeah, as you guys uh, rush off towards the, uh, the, the trees and the, the worm, um, as you get closer and closer, um, the, the, the water in the kind of uh, wetland area is is really murky and uh, you actually notice like a few dead fish kind of just start floating mm. by at the top. All right, you should know. we just jump in or? <laughs> I, you know, I wouldn't think fish would be here anyway. The, 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 by the looks of, of this swamp, I, I wonder if this is like a recent thing. Maybe the worms are coughing on all of them like they did us. Can we check to see if the water is um, poisonous or dangerous in uh, some way? Yeah, um, medicine. Okay. I would like to do a consult nature if I can. Okay. Talk to I got a 10 for medicine. That's... Mm. <laughs> yeah, so uh, with your medicine check, you can determine that the, the water does seem to be kind of toxic. Uh, oh. It should be fine as long as you don't stay in too long, but uh, you'd probably not want to drink it. All right, everybody. We should be real quick in and out of this water and uh, try and resist the urge to drink any of the dead fish water, okay? Oh, I was so thirsty. <laughs> well, and uh, what'd you get with Consult Nature? Um, I got a six. <clears throat> uh, so you, you don't get too much from uh, the plants in the area, just um, constant screams of pain. <laughs> oh, God, oh. Uh, and, and yeah, um, it... Uh, it it almost, uh, you, you do notice that um, the, the area a bit more closer to the trees seems a bit less kind of uh, screamy as far as the plants go. <laughs> if we want to avoid screamy, we should move closer to the trees. What? Oh, I, don't I hear think you scream. Tiny Willow's just being dramatic again. There's no screaming, Tiny Willow. <laughs> 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 That's unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's bad here. It's real bad. Like this is not good. I don't know what this is, but I'm not enjoying it. They well, didn't tell you. Or... Clearly, something weird's going on over there by those trees. Yeah. So let's just wade through the poison real quick, and I think uh, we can go around. Or can I uh, 
It, it doesn't say person. It says uh, subject's body. Uh, so can I extract toxins from this body of water? Yeah. <laughs> from... uh, you could. Uh, you can. You can try. You can always <laughs> try. I will attempt that. You can <laughs> always try. Subject's yeah, um, body of water. So yeah. You 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 pull something. Uh, you, you gather something forth, and uh, you get like a ball of kind of murky, um, very metallic kind of material. You pull that out of, the, out of a fish. And uh, yeah, um, unfortunately, you don't get everything in the the entire uh, the entire uh, swamp lands. Just a small little uh, chunk of it. But, yeah. We just drop it right here in this ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's where I'm standing. <laughs> Bloodbox, we're here. <laughs> Why does he never look down? <laughs> Well, you tried your hardest, and that's what really matters. Yeah. All right. I extracted stuff. It's probably safer. Or... <laughs> it probably is. On it's, it's... microcosmic level. <laughs> is there like a maybe? Maybe there's, there's like a raft or something. Do we have to go? I think this it's okay tomorrow? if we just walk in it for a little bit and don't drink any of it. Yeah, but you're very, very short, and I'm only slightly taller. Oh, that's also, all right on Vodwalks. That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> also, don't trees just soak up water through their bodies? Hey, that's also kind of racist. <laughs> Let's all just ride on Vodwalks and yeah. ignore Rikiki's right. kind of ignorant comments. <laughs> Everyone hop on. Oh, is great. there gonna... It's a Vodwalks ride. So yeah, we, we scamper up him as we normally do. Uh, and I take my customary perch on his right shoulder. I get on his head. I, I left shoulder. <laughs> or also right, maybe. <laughs> and by your power combined, you are more <laughs> buffoon. I, buffoon. I control left arm and shoulder. <laughs> Steal I the control bones. morality. That's your right arm. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. All right, onward, Vodwalks. Okay. <laughs> he is our leader and our steed. <laughs> so as you're uh, wandering through the mucky, uh, mucky water, it, it's, it's fairly disgusting. Does it burn? And, uh, <laughs> uh, it, it actually does sting a little. My shrine garb. No. <laughs> <laughs> so after uh, walking through uh, this, this murky water, you do eventually get to um, the trees. Uh, they actually look like they're out on a slightly raised area of land. Um, basically, it, it looks like the, the, the land specifically kind of was raised up in a, a fairly <coughs> uniform fashion around this, this sort of copse of trees. Hmm. Hmm. What did the trees say? Are they screaming? Well, I'm not, I'm not talking to them right now. You should talk to the trees. All right. Uh, I will I will drop down and move towards that copse of trees. C O P S E copse. I'm gonna stay on his right shoulder. I'll start on his head. Um, and I will try to uh, I will try to consult nature again. Okay. Uh, you have to get nine or higher. Yeah. Ooh, great a, success. That's a Ooh. nineteen. So yeah. Um. You very eloquently communicate to these trees, and um, <laughs> no, I don't want to hear. Uh, yeah, okay. they they explain that um, the the land here is dying, and you should leave as soon as possible, uh, oh. and save yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'd like to save you too, trees. If there's a way that I can do that. Uh, the 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 old ones uh, are already dealing with that. Oh, okay. Well, we're not needed here. The old ones are. Dealing with this. Wait, um, what are the old ones? These That's trees do seem questions. a lot more. Um, <laughs> normally, trees kind of just give general senses to mm -hmm. uh, to other people. Um, these do seem to be actually intelligent to some extent. More more sentient than than yeah. normal. Um, that's cool. Uh, well, the uh, it it seems the old ones are maybe not working fast enough because whatever is happening here is filtering into the land. Uh, outside and and corrupting things. Um, the, the 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 trees kind of like all rustle in the area, and uh, they say um it it uh the the old ones are are trying their best. Um, uh, the the corruption is too strong though. Perhaps we can help. Uh, it... the, the the trees uh, rustle again, and uh, you you actually um. 
almost it almost seems like a, a wind kind of blows through the area, even though there isn't any uh, any wind. And uh, some of the brush um, brush off in the distance kind of seems to stretch a little bit open. Ooh, are you doing that? No. Oh, you should have said yes. Yes! <laughs> well, now we know you're lying. It's me, Tiny Willow, doing that. You're not very no. good at lying. You should I practice that. I am pretty that. bad at that. Yeah. No, come on, you're, you're okay at lying. No, you're really bad at it. I tell the truth in this <laughs> Oh instance. no, did you see? He winked again. No, he just has that twitch. Well, let's make like trees and and and, and go get that it. way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one. Okay, let's um, go that way. Yeah, that's the joke. I can't remember it very well. <laughs> so yeah, um, as you guys continue further in, uh, you actually see um, a number of sculptures kind of uh, just hanging about the area, made out of stone and ice. Mm. Oh. How are these uh, ice sculptures staying here? In well, the swamp. when you sculpt something out of a solid block of ice, the density and the temperature of it kind of help it maintain its structure. But for how long? I don't know. I don't really know a lot okay, about ice so sculptures. Probably just recently <laughs> sculpted then. Maybe. Um, they are all of a particular type of bird, if you would like to make a, uh, a magic check to uh, kind of... Well, a magic ooh. check. Identify. This is it's in uh, intellect. Ooh, I do not have any. I, can I make, can I do it if I have no ranks in magic? Can I make uh, a check? You can, you just don't really get any bonus to the 12. check. Twelve. Gotcha. I got a nine. I got a seven. I got an eight. Wow. All right, uh, so the <laughs> the nine and the, uh, I think I heard twelve? Twelve, yes. Um, so you, you both know magic. that these are uh, a specific type of magical bird um, that are capable of controlling elemental energy. Uh, so they frequently uh, put these kind of about the area as sort of um, part of like their, their general uh, mating practice to kind of like attract others of their kind. Uh, they do generally live in fairly large swarms and they can be dangerous um, just because of their ability to manipulate energy. Uh, th these are those um, energy manipulative birds. Whoa. I think they're mating. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, you actually hear a bit of uh, tweeting, and um, one kind of flutters down from the trees above and just oh. uh, kind of looks at you. Hello, little bird. What do you want? We mean you yeah. no harm. It I will. say, raising both of my tonfoots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it kind of um, twerks its head uh, back and forth a little bit as it uh, looks at all of you. Um, the, the leaves kind of rustle about the area, though, and uh, it kind of flutters back up into the higher branches. Yeah, we scared it. With our peacefulness. <laughs> yes. yes. Mm. Uh, I mean, is there anything about these statues, like, <coughs> that you guys get a weird sense about these statues being here? This one's made of ice. OK. Well, let's just keep moving then. <laughs> so, um, as you head deeper and deeper into the uh, the copse of trees, uh, eventually you get to two really, really large trees that are actually kind of um, twisting and intertwined around each other. Oh, that's oh. nice. <laughs> it's a money tree. It could be a money tree. I'm going to try and talk to it. Yeah, ask it its name. Um, would Consult Nature or Green Soul be better here? Um, consult Nature would be to, to talk to it specifically. Green mm -hmm. Soul would be more to kind of, if you wanted to identify it. Gotcha. OK, I will do Consult Nature. Ooh, that's not Ooh. great. That's a uh, eight or higher? Yeah, no, I got a six. Um, you, you don't quite manage to kind of like link up and communicate with the tree, but another voice does begin speaking, and uh, after a moment, you realize that it's actually uh, speaking specifically to your ears. All four of you can hear it. Oh, something speaking into my ears. The tree is talking. <laughs> Who me. are you to speak to us? Who? Well, uh, I mean, he's... I'm like, Tiny Willow. He's Tiny Willow. Yeah. And we're Vodwax and the Vodwax Raiders, uh, and we are here <sighs> to help the, the land that is being corrupted. It's not a bad name. It works. I know you walk on two legs, yet you say you will help? 
Oh, we can walk I, on our hands no, too I, with you. I often walk on yeah, all fours. It's, it's been a real problem thing for Rikiki. Yeah, it, no, I'm faster on all fours. It is my solemn duty to protect the woods and, and, and all realms. So, uh, yes, I believe we can help you. Um, Are you, you one of the old ones? Uh, as it kind of um, stares at you. Uh, That's impolite to ask. <laughs> I'm quite old myself, so... <laughs> so uh, basically, um, a head kind of um, comes out of the tree itself. Uh, and it, it has a face, and eventually it kind of like seems to pull itself almost completely free of the tree in an almost humanoid form. Okay, you say that you're not... Those aren't your people. I mean... Wow. <laughs> you can't say it like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, are the, the, the rest no, of do I point this? at every mammal and go like, oh, hey, that looks a lot like you. It's really different. <laughs> Is it? Yes. Nice uh, tree person. <laughs> the, the figure actually looks fairly different from, um, from uh, Tiny Willow here. He, he looks more kind of like uh, made up of uh, vines and, and kind of... Uh, Not wooden... to Rikiki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the, the figure actually looks... Um, Fairly humanoid, but just made entirely of almost like, almost like it was sculpted from wood, but it's still capable of moving around. Hmm. And uh, it actually has like a, a branch coming off of the back of its head, uh, almost like hair. Hi. Uh, a second one of these uh, creatures kind of comes out of the other tree, oh. and they uh, specifically look at Tiny Willow, and um, they say, "Your kind left these parts, abandoning us." You come with these, the corruptors. What? What? Why? We don't corrupt anything. No, we would never do that. We're Vodwax's raiders. So tell them. Well, that's tell not them our we're, name. We're nice. Yeah, we're, we're clearly we're nice. No, let Tiny Willow do it. We. Uh, I understand that my people have have left these parts, and and as I s said, it is part of my duty to. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> return and, and help as much as possible and set right what has gone wrong. Uh, me and my friends, Vodwax is raiders. This is Vodwax. He's our leader. It's not our and leader. also He's our not steed. Our uh, no. And yes. uh, we are here to help. We have already encountered some of this corruption. Uh, and, and we hope, I, I hope anyway, that I can, I can restore the, the plant life in this area. Um, if you allow us to, we can help you. Um, from behind you, you actually hear a uh, giggling. And, um... It's not me! Stop giggling. Uh, from, from high up in um, one of the, the, the other trees in the area, you hear a voice call out, We should kill them! Kill them all! And it uh, continues no. to giggle. No, oh, no! no. Disagree! <laughs> that's that's uh, not... That's not what you should do, because why would you? This forest is out of balance. There's been too much death and corruption. Now I get it. You're right. Yes, there's too much death and corruption. More babies need to be born. Yeah, and that one guy needs to be luckier. Right. <laughs> right? <laughs> um... Uh, who, who are you who calls for our deaths? Uh, it, it actually kind of starts uh, coming from another direction uh, off uh, a little ways behind you. Um, Use your karate. I will, <laughs> if I must. You speak to Wiggles. Wait, Wiggles, wait, wait, wait. your doom. Your name is Wiggles. His, his name is Wiggles. <laughs> if you're calling us all tall ones, how tall are you? Yeah, because I'm really short, and also your name is Wiggles. <laughs> uh, he actually begins uh, giggling and giggling as well. Uh, along it's with, infectious uh, when he's <laughs> laughing because <laughs> he just sounds like And then it just suddenly fun. cuts off. Oh, oh. It stopped. Uh, the, the two tree people... Um, in front of you, kind of look off uh, off to the side a bit uh, before turning their attention to you. Um, and they say there has been much death and, de death and decay. But how exactly do you seek to solve this? Um, 
we can get rid of the death and the decay. Then you will help us destroy the mine? Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. It's an ecological problem. Is that the source of the death and decay? What they're mining? Is that? Of course. Mm hmm I told you. I told you. You did call it. Mm. So did I, and you said it was unrelated. <laughs> well, but now it seems like it's potentially more related. We did a fact-finding mission, and it seems like it's both causation it, and... Is there no way that the mine and the uh, flora in this area can coexist? They have dumped their waste into the rivers for ages. And now they have simply sped up production. Hmm. How can we coexist? But the council members were supposed to keep them from violating the standards and practices. Mm -hmm. Do you think and... they care? Well, I guess not, clearly. I've, when did they start accelerating <clears throat> things? Several months back. And it can no longer stand this. The trees die every second, and soon ours will as well. And with that, so shall we. Well, I, I, you know, I just, I can't, I can't stand for that. We should um, use our authority to demand that the council stop doing waste dumping stuff for the mines. Well, we should, we outrank them now, right? I don't know how it works exactly, but... Let me see the paper just no, to check. Oh, it's my paper. Uh, Wiggles, do you agree? The mine must go? Uh, you just hear uh, more laughter from, uh, from <laughs> off in the distance. <laughs> everything must go, everything! It's trying to get rid of merchandise. Guys. A quick uh, Vodbox Raiders huddle. Yeah. What's okay. not our name? I thought Vodbox was the only one who could call the huddle. Yeah, I'm, but I, as, as my, my master at arms, he has the ability. Oh, uh, congratulations. Because I have arms. We all have arms. All have arms. Yeah, yeah, but I'm really good at them. Mm. Um, so, guys, I sort of feel like Wiggles is kind of like maybe instigating something. Okay. Yeah, because it seems like they are perhaps responsible for attacking the mine, but Wiggles is just straight up murdering people for fun. Yeah, and 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 the thing with the thing that the old ones wouldn't listen to any anyone else. So I don't know why they're deferring things to Wiggles, or what Wiggles is, or what Wiggles is. Uh, you actually hear a voice from basically in inside of your huddle. Wiggles is Wiggles. Okay. Oh, he got not... in our huddle. It's for Vodrox Wait Raiders. It's a violation of the huddle. Do we see anything? Uh, make an awareness check. Uh, I got a, a ten. I got eleven. I got a three. Um, so he was fairly, uh, fairly a uh, kind of. It, it, it was a lot easier to kind of like locate him because of uh, all of his giggling. Um, mm. He does critically fail, so he only gets a two. Cool. Okay. Uh, so none of you see him, but you do see the, the kind of um, indentations of his feet uh, in the grass as he's kind of just... Um, uh, as you reach your hand forward, you do touch something. There's nothing here. Before it uh, tries to scurry off. Does his voice sound familiar? Um, not particular. Um, no, no, not from uh, anything you've kind of heard. Hmm. Okay. Um, did he get away from your grasp? Yeah, he, he scampered didn't. off. Oh. Well, I, Wiggles, I, I don't know who or what you are, but I know that the old ones are quite capable of, of defending this area. Um, if. If you're impeding them in any way, I, you and I must have words. Wiggles would never impede. Wiggles only murders. Well, see, oh, well that's, that's problematic. also not a great thing. Yeah. yeah. How else to get rid of the miners? Did you try talking to them? Never. 
Well, mm -hmm. see, I feel like you're skipping several levels of yeah. conflict resolution. Listen to their problems first, and then you can maybe... Anyway, you got to stop doing that. Um... <clears throat> The, uh, the, the two, uh, the two um, wooden people kind of uh, look at you and, and say, you can stop the mine? Yeah, give us a chance to talk to them and explain what's happening, and then maybe we can figure something out. They, they, won't, they won't listen to people who murder them, though. No, yeah, mm. that shuts down people real quick. Yeah, mm. yeah, it never goes well. We're, we're gonna, I think if we're gonna shut down the mine, we kind of need to bring them a, something that they're not gonna get murdered, you know, mm. regardless. Mm -hmm. Is that something that can be promised, maybe? <clears throat> uh, the, the two wooden people kind of um, stare at you, and uh, eventually they slowly nod their head and say, you have three days to stop the mine before the attacks continue. Oh, that's, that's uh, the other one uh, calls off into the distance. Wiggles, you will restrain yourself. And uh, for, for a moment, uh, it, 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 his giggles were kind of like starting to rise. And as she says, so he just kind of like cuts off. And uh, you just hear like a yell of frustration before something kind of moves off into the distance. Well, that took care of that. So we have three days to tell these people <clears throat> who only exist to work this mine yeah. to not do it anymore. Well, or to more responsibly yeah. dispose of their waste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need, we need to have them responsibly mine. Uh, what if they built, like they dug a deep pit for waste? I don't think that will work. Well, like far away from this. Well, then you'll hurt somewhere else. What if they put a waste pit in the mine? What? <laughs> like they just mined an extra like hole and just put all the waste in it. What kind of mined waste is there anyway? I don't know. Um, you know, the foreman felt seemed extra dodgy. Like mm -hmm. maybe he's doing something he shouldn't be doing in that mine. Let's go confront him again. Mm, yeah. Yes. This seems like now we finally got him. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Journalism <laughs> at its best. Um, okay. okay. Let's see what we can, what we can do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you guys head on back to towards the city. Um, do you do you ride Vod uh, once more through oh. the? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. There's yeah. no real other alternative. Oh, of course, course, of course. So, yeah, uh, you guys make it back to the city, and yeah. um, uh, you, you see a, a large crowd kind of uh, gathered around the, the town hall. Mm. Oh, oh! Everyone's already gathered. They're here for us, clearly. It's okay, the deputies. Guys, and the deputies. Let's sing that song just like we rehearsed. But we don't have a song. Vod walks raiders. No, 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 no the one new. about not polluting. Let's just see what's oh. happening. Yeah, um, basically a lot of the miners are all kind of um, gathered around trying to like force their way inside, but uh, the various guards are kind of like keeping people back. Um, they're like, steady, steady, one at a time. What are we, do what are we doing? What's, Everyone. what's going on here? What, what's happening, human <laughs> folk? Hey, hey. hey. Hello. Uh, one of them kind of uh, looks down uh, and uh, what, what, what is it? What are, you, what are you doing? Why is everyone here? What's happening? You can direct your eyes to, get, to him if you need to. Get a to. The, the council's <laughs> been saying they're going to deal with these attacks for weeks, but they haven't done anything. Oh, well, we're doing it. Oh, we figured it out. Yeah, we got it. What? Yeah. Uh, as you say so, um, the, the entire crowd starts kind of like uh, whispering to each other, and uh, the, the, the news kind of like spreads a bit, and they all start kind of crowding around you uh, really aggressively, like, wh uh. wh what's going on? What's going on? Oh, okay. uh, we have to tell the council, and careful, some of us yeah. are very <laughs> short. Yeah. Uh, as you say so, um, they, they kind of settle down a little bit and... Um, Thank you. ...start to try <laughs> and uh, spread a little bit out to allow you, to guys, allow you guys to kind of make your way through. All right, let's go tell the council our plan. Okay. So, yeah, uh, you Good. guys get inside, and it's still fairly crowded inside as well. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, the, the reception is... <clears throat> we might have to ride on Vod Walks. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The receptionist uh, manages to kind of uh, get you guys through, and you're brought before the three council members. Uh, you do notice that um, the mine foreman is somewhat nearby, looking fairly angry. Um, hi again. We figured some stuff out. Oh, yeah. um, <clears throat> Garrick uh, seems kind of skeptical, while the others uh, seem to be kind of like listening in to try and uh, hear what you say. Tell them, Vod Wogs. Your m- mining practices are destructive. You have been corrupting the land around you. Uh, and uh, the, those residents of the land decided to fight back. What now, residents? There's the like, uh, yeah, some tree people the and trees. an invisible guy named Wiggles. Uh, <laughs> who likes to murder and has now been let loose because they feel that this is their only way to save their lives. Um, as you guys uh, kind of say so, you, you found the murderers? Where are they? They, you are the murderers. Oh, what are you talking about? You're, you're the ones killing the land around you. Do you not know? There is no plant life in your city and for miles around your city. You, you are dumping your, your waste into the rivers, killing all the plants and animals and destroying your land, killing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the other two cou- council members look um, a little confused and uh, say that the, the waste we dump isn't, isn't anything serious. It's, it, the, the land's always been like this. It hasn't, because... Of, of course it has. Um, I... <laughs> can I get a judge character from everyone? Oh, I can't. Yeah. can't roll with all this stuff <laughs> on me. What pie? I got a four. I got a ten. Uh... Judge character. I got a three. Uh, judge character. So it is ten or higher you need to beat. Uh, I did it. I'm tiny. I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna use my my. I had my <laughs> tiny luck. Willow. That wouldn't help me. So now I fail. Tiny Willow succeeds. <laughs> so yeah, um, Tiny Willow noted. Uh, you notice that as you guys are talking about this, Garrick and Andrick don't seem to be really particularly surprised by what you're saying. They, they are kind of trying to not not um, really project it very much, but mm-hmm. they do seem like it very much seems like they aren't kind of surprised by everything you're you're saying and talking about. Well, I mean, if you don't mind all being murdered, then keep doing what you're doing, right? Yeah, no skin off our back. Mm. Life is balance, and you've thrown it into disarray, and it is finding a way to balance itself out, and that is what is happening. So if Garrick you says, that, that, that is nonsense. We'll simply gather together a militia and we'll go out and destroy them. You cannot destroy the old ones, nor do then I think not? you can destroy an invisible creature known only as Wiggles. <laughs> um, uh, but something tells me that you are aware of this already. You're aware of, <gasps> of uh, the, what you have been dumping into, into the, the rivers and the water and, the, and the, the land and the dirt, as it were. You talked to the dirt. No, I didn't talk. No. Jacuse? <laughs> Jacuse! Jacuse, Andrick and Garrick. Uh, um, I... Why do not? Why do you not speak up, Andrick, about the practices of your of your mine? Um, Dar and uh, the the other, the other two uh, council members um, seem like they're kind of eyeing uh, Garrick a little closely as you're kind of like yelling and uh, accusing him of of mm-hmm. knowing about all of this. And um, Andrick uh, kind of uh, says, "It's enough. Of course we knew." <gasps> Well, then why are we here? Um, Garrick kind of yells out, like, silence! Without that mine, this city would die. Who cares about a few trees? But but the city's going to die with the mine. The trees are what are killing you guys because you're killing the trees. So I suggest digging, like, a separate mine hole. Well, maybe we can can talk to engineers about this later, but... 
But you wanted us to try to kill kill these trees. <clears throat> of course. If we take out the trees, we'll have no more issues. What? Except but air life issues. will always find a way oh. to fight back. Because that's what it is. There's balance to the land. And you will, you know that, and you are seeing the results. If it is not this, it will be some other way. You've caused so much destruction, life will find a way to balance the scales. As, as you try to take more and more uh, lives of, of the, the plants and animals in this area, more and more of your workers will die. At Wiggles' hand. At Wiggles' hand. And, and eventually you will have no one to work this mine. Except for Wiggles. Mm. Who is not interested in He's working. not, yeah. He, he will not, and he's probably not murder. good at that. Mm. Um, so, um, the other two council members actually seem like they're kind of being swayed by your words and kind of uh, <laughs> being pulled over to your side. Mm -hmm. uh, Garrick still seems like really like adamant. He's like, no, no, no. We simply kill the trees. There won't be any more issues, and all of this will be solved. I mean, it would get solved a lot quicker if I killed the two of you. Oh, yeah. Then we would be, then there would be much more balance. Then, then we could, we could be the, correct. Uh, we could be the council then. Uh, um, we could probably do this without killing anyone. Yeah, I mean. I'm just saying two lives for, would save many. Yeah. Sure, he's speaking hypothetically. Uh, as we're talking about uh, murdering council members, some of the, the guards nearby kind of uh, get a little antsy and no, uh, put their hands no. on their weapons. He's uh, hypothetical. He likes to, he's a philosopher. I'm trying to save as much life as I can. Mm -hmm. and if uh, the other two council members kind of uh, look at Garrick and like, Garrick, you knew about this? <clears throat> what, what, what is this? <clears throat> And uh, he kind of starts uh, just like shouting. He's like, of course I knew. We knew about the fake community nearby, but once the spirit left, there was no issue. What could a couple trees do to us? A lot. A lot. You. That's what's been happening, mm -hmm. Garrick. Did you see the giant monkey? Just, just because a spirit leaves a fey forest does not mean that that fey forest is dead. Oh my gosh, do you people not know this stuff? <laughs> yeah, this is real basic. <laughs> Listen. Um, he yells out, and how would you expect this town to survive? What would we do? Hmm? Again, just end the mine? No, just dig a separate hole <laughs> for just, dumping your mine waste you, in. Yeah, don't, don't put your mine waste in the rivers that feed the forest. Find responsible ways to take care of it. I, I, I've never worked a mine, so I don't really know what you can do to... Definitely, you can dig a separate hole. <laughs> okay. Mm, just... I'm just saying, you know, they haven't even tried. I mean, I, I defer to you because you lived in... I um, lived in a thank you. I you lived in a thank you? you? Thank you. That doesn't even make no, any sense. That's, I was, I it interrupted no sense. myself to thank you. Listen, I can provide your miners with schematics of the communities of my people. We also have waste holes. That's where we store our waste. Everybody has waste holes. I can speak with the old ones and see if there's maybe a more humane way of dispensing your... This is very humane. You dig a separate tunnel. <laughs> well, let's, I mean, maybe let me, like, vet it. Sure, I just, too many cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> I just, but... Anyways, we are deputized to find the <laughs> issue. Show him here. I'll, I'll show him. Oh, just I have it. I have it. Come on. <laughs> um, uh, so Garrick still seems like adamant that like uh, you guys don't know what you're talking about. The other, but the other two council members have kind of like listened to uh, what you've been saying and kind of look like they're starting to kind of um, come around. And, and they say, we... If we can solve this diplomatically, that does seem best. I, I can go back and speak with the old ones of the forest, and we can try to um, come to a solution where the mine can continue operating and this place can prosper, but you will not um, be harming the area with your mining practices. 
We have. If we can come to some some. Are you making a? I'm just doing a quick schematic? sketch so that they can okay. see the proof of concept. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think their lives and the lives of the miners who would be working here are important enough for us to attempt this this process because if we do not stop this the everyone here will die they uh, they, they nod their heads and um garrick still seems to be kind of like fuming but he's stopped kind of just yelling and shouting around and um the other two council members kind of like nod their head and and say if you can solve this diplomatically that would be for the best we leave this in your hands hey, i'll talk to your people because you just Basically, the mine would be here, <laughs> and then you okay, just dig come on, come right, on, down it's time, there. It's time we go. Hey, I just need to know real quick, Andrik, is there anything you're doing in this mine that, from the last few months that uh, has been different than the way you've been doing it before? No, no. We simply opened up a new section. New, new, more mines simply means more waste. Oh. Okay, no. But it doesn't have to. Mal Maldu, Maldu. Each separate section can have its own waste hole. Okay, well, that's a thing. We can come back to it. Let's go back to the old ones and tell them mm -hmm. what we found. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All aboard. <laughs> <laughs> I take big steps. Yeah. <laughs> You stop with that sorry, yeah, I'm shit. sorry. I got <laughs> carried away. I'm sorry. So you guys uh, get the range? You hop aboard the, uh, the VOD train and... The, uh, the SS yes. VOD walks. <laughs> and uh, head on back to the forest. Um, on your way, you uh, continue to hear um, randal, random giggling from uh, nearby here and there. We hear you. We hear you. Yeah, it, you're not very stealthy when you just giggle a lot. But he's uh, invisible. He... Well, sure, but... We can hear him. Uh, as you say that, he, his giggling just kind of like cuts off. Oh, okay, now it's much and, uh, <laughs> and then uh, eventually you get back to the uh, the two large trees, and um, they they ask, uh, "What what news do you have to bring us?" So you gave us three days, but it just took us a couple hours. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty good, right? And yeah, so we feel like we made some inroads. And everybody's going to consider some more responsible ways of dealing with the waste from their mind. Well, we were actually coming to ask you what would be a good way to deal with that. Even though we already have okay, a perfect I'll way. Okay, do be quiet. You ask for the, for the mind to continue operating? In yes. a way that does not harm your lance. You would need a powerful animancer to to extract the poison from the mine, then. Well, we oh. just happen to have one right here. Right? And you would it's do that? Box. You would stay here and keep the land safe? Forever and ever? I would bring balance to this horribly corrupt land. And I could show them how to dig a waste hole, and then <laughs> Clearly kind of that. would help. But then you're just poisoning the land. No, Mine no, is no, I'm getting rid of it. And if you dig down into bedrock that you like. You want to get a non-porous rock that you've dug down into. It's like a cistern. Can we, can we argue about this? Naturally later? occurring. You're embarrassing yourself. Okay, so we're all agreed. Vod walks will stay here for the rest of his years, as long as the mine is open. You live a long time, right? Your people live a long time. I assume. <laughs> no one actually knows how long Ventelli live for because they usually uh, fight and die before then. Oh. Um, oh. It's assumed to be in some number of centuries, but no one, no one is really sure. I don't sure. know if anyone's ever died of old age. Well, they they usually the die first. around like their, their 70s or earlier. But uh, yeah. Okay. But, you know, hey, the mine can't be, along, um, get, can't be around that long. Yeah. And we'll come back and visit you. <laughs> it's what I'm here for. I mean, you'll have Giggles' machine here, so... Mm -hmm. Wiggles. Well, maybe his name should be Giggles. Machine. I don't know about that part. Because he's like a machine, a killing machine. Mm, yeah. No, that's not... Anyway, <laughs> so are you cool with that, trees? They uh, kind of um, look to each other and uh, eventually kind of nod at you. 
if you would do this for us, you would do a great honor to the land and your people. Yeah. Oh. I, yeah, I just, I feel like I should tell you that if we go through with this, that we will no longer be Vodwax Raiders and we will be... We, we're really going to miss you. That yeah, wasn't our name. Yeah, that, no, that, what would we be? Uh, Not, it doesn't, we'd, we'd just be who just, we are. We could well, just be Vodwax. No, well. it would be, we're Rafiki's Raiders because Rafiki's the next tallest. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Oh. Rikiki's. Oh, and, oh. R okay. Rikiki's well, Raiders. you said the tallest. It, I mean, so yeah, it I'm has the a, tallest. it is alliterated. My big 310. It doesn't roll off the tongue as well as Vodwax's Raiders, though. That's true. Rikiki's yeah. Raiders? Vodwax's Raiders just had kind of no. a nice flow. R Rikiki's Raiders is alliterative. You know, we can talk about it while yeah. we're preparing Vodwax's um, farewell party. Uh -huh, yeah. Yes, well, it's already But been you decided. stay here because you're going to have to start working pretty much immediately. Yeah. yeah, and like every day, all day for yeah. the rest of your life. Yeah. But we'll bring you some books. <laughs> Maybe I could put an ad out for another Animan series. Yeah, every once in a while. Just yeah, like, so you can take a like a break. Yeah, a quick vacay. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, I'll I'll stick with you. I mean, I won't die probably. What about Rikiki Strangers? Oh, well, Rikiki's if Rangers? If Raiders. If Tiny Willow's gonna stay, then I probably should too, because they don't know how to properly construct waste holes. Yeah. And I gotta start planting things and stuff. I mean, it's just the... You probably learn a lot from Wiggles. Mm -hmm. That's true. But we're still Rikiki's Raiders. Well, no, if Fodwax is here, yeah, we still be Fodwax and Fodwax. We were never that in the first place! If we left... All right, yeah, hands in, everybody. Okay, we're gonna do it. And and one, two, two three, three, five. Rikiki's Raiders! Raiders. 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 Plus Rikiki. <laughs> Special guest. <laughs> I'm not a special guest. I've been here longer than the rest of you. Well, you've been here taller than the rest of us, I guess. <laughs> and longer. <laughs> My jokes. <laughs> um. And uh, with that, uh, your adventuring careers are over, but <laughs> you have uh, successfully solved this uh, situation. Yes! Nice. Now we can become level four NPCs. Yeah. <laughs> People will come visit us from all around asking for the wizened Vodwax's Raiders. Do you have a cake for us? <laughs> um, great, awesome. Yeah, thank uh, you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Yeah. That was great. So, yeah, um, uh, that was Greener Pastures. <laughs> Now that's that's one of the uh, uh, adventures that they can get in with with the Kickstarter. Yes, uh, I believe that was the plan. Um, last I heard, we were going to try and put out a book with uh, ten adventures that we kind of have already worked out to basically kind of give people uh, an early kind of jump on on campaigns and and just kind of like experiencing the world. Nice, awesome. Yeah, that's super cool. Um, well, I had a lot of fun yeah. uh, with yeah. this. This is this is this is a lot of this was a blast. Thank you for running this. For yeah, us. thank, yeah. You. thank yeah. you very much. Thanks for having me. Um, and uh, you guys out there, uh, if you hit exclamation point Kickstarter, you will get the link to check out the Endless Realms Kickstarter, uh, which is going on. It just started yesterday, so um, it's it's got uh, I think a couple more weeks, three more weeks or so. Yeah, 33 uh, so, days last I checked. Yeah. And so, uh, is there a social media account they can follow for updates on the Kickstarter? Um, yes. Uh, our Facebook, uh, Endless Realms RPG, uh, has kind of updates on the Kickstarter and how it's going. Um, we also have a Twitter, uh, which is, I believe, Lunar Games. I think it's Lunar underscore... I, I think it's lunar underscore games underscore ink. Is that I, it? I believe so. Uh, I can uh, double check games. that. Oh, games lunar games. underscore games ink. Lunar ah, so underscore games, games ink. Games ink is all one word. Um, cool. And yeah, um, we're uh, kind of doing fairly well so far. And uh, uh, it, um, on the Kickstarter page, you can actually uh, see a, a image of Wiggles in his uh, <coughs> CRA page. Oh, uh, he was it's a, a picture of Ooh, oh, okay. Yeah. 
So uh, yeah, so that's that's super cool. I love that the lore <coughs> is is uh, we talked about this in the interview. If you guys want to catch up the interview that I did with Sherman, uh, that's on our YouTube page. Uh, and one of the cool things about this system is just how in depth the lore is. A, a lot of systems sort of build that lore over time, and this this has it already there. Um, it's which is pretty impressive. So. Um, I'm yeah. looking it up. I'm going to see what Wiggles looks like. Please do. Oh. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you again, Sherman, for, for running yeah. this for yeah. us. This was, this was awesome. Yeah. And thank you, everyone, who tuned in and checked it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you will check out the Kickstarter. And uh, I think that's it. Um, so we are off the next two days. Uh, well, technically, I guess the next three days. Oh, yeah. uh, but we have nothing on Thursday or Friday as normal. Uh, then we're back on Sunday with a new Tempting Fate where we're starting a lost uh, hack of, not like just a lost hack of the. Uh, of it's been Blazes missing for ages. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, is, it, is a, it is using the TV show Lost as, as the basis for that, um, for that run. And that's going to be a ton of fun. So mm -hmm. I hope that you can tune in for that. And uh, yeah. So that's it. I don't know. Is anything anything else you guys want to? Uh, uh, Wild Cards comes back on uh, May the 11th, Friday, May the 11th. So uh, tune, tune in for that. Two, that's three weeks away? Two weeks? Two, two weeks, weeks away. Yeah. Two weeks after this Friday. And Season four. May 1st is uh, we got a nice one off of Fiasco with a bunch mm -hmm. of people. Should yeah. yeah. Next Wednesday. Mm hmm. And uh, or Tuesday, Tuesday, next Tuesday. Tuesday. Next Tuesday, yeah. Iron, cool. Iron Keep is back June 6th, but uh, in between those times, so in a week from today, we'll be doing a three-part uh, three series called It's Always Cloudy in Barovia with GM Garav Galati and uh, a couple of us. He's yeah, my I'm friend, the rival. He is your friend, uh -huh, the rival, yes. yes. Uh, and that's, that's going to be a ton of fun. Um, so tune in next week for that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I think that's it. So yeah. thank uh, you to Tyler for running everything. Yeah, thank Tyler. you, Thanks, Tyler. Uh, and thank you to all of our mods, <laughs> everyone who is here and, and helping and making everything clean, safe, and accessible, uh, as Tom would say. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thanks for all the subs and all, all that. Stuff, and check out so. the Kickstarter. Yeah, check yeah. out the Kickstarter, and we will see you later. All right, bye. 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 bye.